It's Larry the Dragon here. Welcome to Between the Lines. I got to fill in for TM tonight because he was feeling a little under the weather. Uh, uh, but yeah, guys, welcome to Between the Lines. Uh, hey, guys, guys, it's just me. Ha <laughs> ha, you guys all fell for it. You should see the looks on your guys' faces. You guys fell for it. You thought I was Larry the Dragon. What kind of name is that? Who would name a dragon Larry the Dragon? Um, yeah, I would. I would. And I did. Welcome to the spooktacular episode of Between the Lines, our Halloween episode, because Halloween is tomorrow, but we do things on Mondays. So we were like, you know what? We'll just do it tonight. We'll just we'll we'll do it live. We'll do it live and we'll we'll have some fun with it and we'll do whatever we want because it's our show. Get off our backs, okay? Yeah, okay. But guys, it's time for our spooktacular episode. And of course, I can't do this without the talent without the guy that draws every single week because you guys know i don't i don't and i will never draw on this episode but we can't do this show without geek out with roscoe because if you ever want to geek out if you ever want to geek out geek out with roscoe yeah, yeah. Do it with roscoe. <laughs> oh, there you go that is the best slogan ever <laughs> hey <laughs> what is that Hey everyone! Uh, I had to come as one of my favorites, Tina Belcher. Well, let's get a let's get a close up on this one. Uh, <laughs> happy yes. Halloween, Roscoe man! Happy Halloween! Yes, happy Halloween, brother. Um, I, where'd Larry the Dragon go? Where the heck did he go? <laughs> Hi, I'm right here, man. Oh, hey, all right, cool, man. That was weird. That was, I mean, that was crazy. You just popped yeah, up. Yeah, Travis just uh, lets me out of my cage sometimes, but sometimes he's just like, he's like, no, Larry the Dragon, you get back in your cage. Just like, now I'm right back, guys. You fell for it again. You guys fell for it again. I can't believe it. Twice, twice in one night. And we're only, we're not even five minutes in. Come on, guys. Come on. Well, appreciate you doing the show. I'm excited for tonight. Um, man, I, uh, I hope, I really hope we get some people, uh, to draw tonight. I mean, that would be awesome. I mean, you know, we do already, but I would love to get a whole bunch of at home additions, especially for Halloween, you know, that would be awesome. So, um, but Travis, how you doing tonight, bro? Uh, did you see that? My, my lights just flickered twice. Yeah, I don't know so. if anybody saw that too. Like that was weird. I'm doing fantastic, man. Um, been, been hanging out, been doing the thing, I'm getting ready for this Halloween. I'm waiting until the right the day after Halloween where I can just like go into Walmart early in the morning or go to the grocery stores and get all the candy that's like discounted. So I'm pumped for like I'm pumped for Halloween, but I'm also pumped for or the, the day after Halloween. The discount candy. <laughs> yeah. The discount candy. But oh before we get to get to everything that we usually do on this show, uh, let's get some uh, housekeeping out of the way. Uh, we haven't really been doing this, but we should. We oh, have yeah. been, we are a finalist for the best collaborative project or event uh, and best duo. Uh, Between the Lines has been nominated. I want to say thank you on, on behalf of me and Roscoe. We want to thank everybody that... Uh, pushed us to become finalists, becoming the top five. Of course, we're also uh, nominated in different uh, categories as well. Best artist, the best uh, blue wrench. But the one that we really hope that you guys like take the time and go vote for is Between the Lines because we love doing the show. Um, and I know that I'm proud of where it came. And I know Roscoe is just – Roscoe gets really tight in the pants when he thinks of how far Between the Lines has come. Oh, absolutely. Are you kidding me? I love it. And thank you so much again for everyone in the chat um, who, you know, everyone that sends artwork in every week, everyone that participates, the guests that we have, the the people who ask questions, you know, and everyone who just nominated us um, to make us a finalist. I mean, <clears throat> to be honest, I, I love it. I mean, thank you all so much. Um, we truly appreciate it. Me and Travis, you know, we uh, we we love doing this show and we love all of you. We love this community. So um, thank you all again. We just, you know, even if we don't win, we're just so happy that we got nominated. I mean, because to be honest with you, we got, we're good. This show's going to get even better. 
I keep telling Travis that. And he's like, oh, yeah? And then look look at our guest tonight. I wish you could see him. He's backstage. But when we bring him out, you'll see. But, yeah. again, thank you all so much. Truly appreciate you all. Want, you know. And, again, the, the, the competition that we're with, they're all amazing, too. Congratulations to everyone else who else is a finalist against us. Um, and against, uh, you know, and everyone other ca category, which we have, again, our guest tonight is in one of those categories. So. He is. So you guys can go ask your votes at cbcawards.org. cbcawards.org, guys. Uh, and it is open till November 18th. That's when the polls close. So you got it, you got 19 days. Uh, you can go and check it out, see who you like, go check out some of their videos. You have 19 days. Uh, that's cbcawards.org. Not saying you have to vote for us. We'd appreciate it if you did. Mm -hmm. But get the votes in because they're almost. Um, last time I, I heard, like they're they're pushing to two thousand votes this year. And that's wow. crazy. Well, that's crazy, actually. man. That's like almost double uh, from from last year. So, um, also uh, some sad news that we want to we, we want to touch on. Me and Roscoe talked uh, earlier about if we wanted to do this or not. But uh, somebody that's been pretty much in everybody's households, like. For, for every week in the 90s. And then in a lot of great movies, uh, he played an amazing guy. Um, one of my favorite characters, uh, Chandler Bing. Uh, sad to say, Matthew, Matthew Perry, Perry has passed away. Yeah. I'm, I, I, you guys mostly know him from playing Chandler Bing on Friends. Uh, I remember I loved him on the whole whole nine yards and the whole 10 yards. And I think, I think that's going to be my go-to movie to watch both of them uh, after Halloween. Uh, Roscoe, what, what's your favorite character uh, he, he's portrayed? Oh, well, I mean, I loved him as Chandler, of course, you know, um, but the whole nine yards was great. I, I really liked him in um, this movie he did with uh, like Selma Hayek. And I can't remember the name of it, but Selma Hayek looked oof course fire but uh, that was a funny one um yeah you know i also liked him on the odd couple um he did a show with uh the guy from reno 911 where they played the odd couple and he did the show and it was uh that was a good one too i like that but yeah but chandler bing though you know it's sad uh, yeah uh they say like he, he went in cardiac arrest and drowned in his jacuzzi and that and after playing like two hours of pickleball so rest in peace uh matthew perry you were a funny one well, like he was only 54 too so it's sad but yeah but on the lighter side of things we have some people here watching we got 15 people watching we, we started like a couple minutes earlier uh we have 15 people watching we might as well get to the sexy in betweeners because i know i already see the comments it says like 84 so we have 84 comments already to get to. Uh, all right. All the way back up to the top. First off, we have the StreamYard Duck. StreamYard Duck's what, in what? the house. Mother Licka. Actually, the very first one came at 1, well, I'll, 145 my time, 1245 Eastern. Uh, he's He was here early, uh, Les Crucius. Then he came back at 1053 to say, Woohoo! Oh, and then say came back at eight forty nine to say hello from New Mexico, hello from Florida, and hello from Canada. Hello, uh, we got so. Phil from Phil Streehouse in the building. If you want a TM, TM nerdy. <laughs> I'm not sure what that means, but I like it. We got Evil's Uncle. Comics in the building right here. What a mic. I just saw a question from Mike. I'll, I'll be staring all the questions going forward now as I go through the chat. Um, hey, Phil, I tried uh, timing TM, but he didn't answer. What? Oh, <laughs> slide, <laughs> slide into his Got TMs. Him. Yeah. <laughs> all right. We got K pop junkie in the building, Katie. What's up? Woohoo! Let's go. What up, K-pop? 
We got 19 people watching. Make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Go subscribe to Roscoe too, because he he also loves the love. We got Mama Roscoe in the building. I was hoping hey. to try your sweet pumpkin desserts, but uh, the post office sucks. Yeah, tell me about it. Freaking All right. Ridiculous. We got Kevin P. West in the building. He's saying, go Lions. Go Lions. Oh, go Lions. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know where they're going to go, but we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> we got we got uh, K-pop saying go Lions as well. We got Cali Comics in the building. What's up, Cali Comics? What up, Cali? Moving on down the list. Moving on, Moving down, on the list. down the list. Moving on down there. We man. got uh, we got pear. What is up? What you up, look Dolly? great. Thank you. Thank you so much. I know you mean Rossio, but I'm just gonna take it as myself. Hey Dolly. <laughs> we 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 Bird Birdman in the building. What is up, Birdman? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you I know you've been watching a lot of the always sunny, you know? Yeah. Bird girl. Ah, stop bird girl. Yo, yo, remember when they're the birds? Oh, man, okay. Anyway, Birdman, what up, bro? <laughs> what is up, Nah Man, the draw man? Nah, man. I like boobs. <laughs> I like. <laughs> well, we'll play that clip later on. We got Noel's Fish in the building. What's up, Noel's Fish? My man. What's up, bro? All right, everybody, go to Instagram right now. Type in this name, Don't and care. if this name shows up and you're following this person, go and click unfollow Layla Shay Cosplay. Just go unfollow her. She'll, she, she loves no it way. when you go unfollow her. She's the one who sent me this wig so I could be Tina. So big shout out to Layla Shay. Yo, go definitely, if you're not subscribed, definitely so go follow her over there and check out her cool cosplays. But yeah, no, she, she sent me this. Isn't this awesome? I love this. All right. <laughs> You're like, all right. You Vogs, Vogs in the building. We tried to get Vogs on, but we will be rescheduling Vogs uh, down the line to come on to a future episode of Between the Lines. And we look forward to having you on, Vogs. Hopefully, we oh, can figure out a time that works for everybody. I got someone for that date, by the way. So we're good. All right. We'll talk after. Absolutely. We got Ben Compton in the building. What's up, Ben Compton? What up, Ben? How you doing, bro? Norn Rad is surfing his way in. Oh, what's up, Ben? Yeah. What's up, Ben? Can't wait to see what he draws tonight. I can't wait to see what a lot of yeah. people draw. I, I can't wait to see what anybody draws. Like, Vogs, you better be drawing. Friggin' Superman better be drawing. Glenn better be drawing. Mm -hmm. S. Vaughn better be drawing. Speaking of oh, S. Vaughn, S. Vaughn had a show mm -hmm. earlier with actual Dracula, and he's in the building right now, so definitely check that out. He's part of the Monday Night lineup, Izzy verse nice S. Vaughn, 82, 22 Comics, Carlos Collects Comics, and Cup uh, Comics, all part of the lineup. Go check their channels out and go follow the lineup. It's, it's a great lineup. I'm so proud to be part of this lineup, uh, and I'm so glad these people included us in this. Absolutely. Heck yeah, man. Love it. We got 23 um, Monch in the building. That's yeah. another drawer, another guy that's yeah. going to be drawing from home. Excellent. We Can't got wait. Sugar Skulls in the building. What's up, Sugar Skulls? Hey, Sugar Skulls. All right. All right. We got the Cambodian street team in oh. the building. We got JC Bone. My man. How you doing, brother? Moving on down the list. My uh, I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping I didn't miss any questions. I haven't seen any. You better not the, have. Oh, yeah, I'm usually I'm really fired. good at picking them up, but yeah. All right, Noel's fish, Daredevil NYC. Man, I haven't seen you in a little bit. Hopefully, everything is Yo, all right. What's man. up? How you doing, brother? We got Manny, the Hobgoblin collector. He sent in it at home. I already got yes. it. Awesome! Can't wait. Can't wait to check that out. That's going to be great. 
We got Big B McFly in the building. What's up, Big B McFly? Hey, what up, brother? He's sent me a couple of at homes. He's already sent home a sentence, a couple, you said? Yeah, sent one at, at least, and that I think the one that I'm going to use. Look, it's really, really nice. I, I really enjoy it. That's awesome. Excellent. Can't wait. Um, just staring some comments here and then trying to see if I'm every oh, we're getting some comments in right away. Uh, here we go, right here. We got Glenn, gorgeous Glenn, gorgeous Glenn. What hey, up, Glenn. Glenn? <laughs> yes, my man. All right, I think I'm catching up with all the comments here. We got 24 people watching. Boom, our guest came in earlier than we expected and i feel really bad that we're keeping him backstage through all, all of this but gotta get through the comments here shut out all these sexy in-betweeners and get to all these questionnaires he's a rock star it's all good he knows what it's like <laughs> <laughs> all right so um i guess it's that time to uh you know no it's not I haven't got through all the questions yet. <laughs> I'm still going down. Oh, you're still going through the questions? Oh, snap! I'm These still, I'm still, yeah, yeah. We don't even yeah. have our uh, our our, per our uh, guest out here yet. <laughs> no, and I haven't gotten down to the bottom of our list yet, so I'm not even sure if I got everybody yet. Holy smack! That's here. Uh, have you have you seen anybody? Are you seeing the bottom of the list as I'm going yeah, down? Yeah, I see bottom of the list, but new? I don't see anyone else new. I don't think. If we did okay, yeah. again, shout us, you know, let us know and we'll shout you out. All right. Yep. I think I'm there. I got all the questions commented. The questions. They're stirred and ready. Oh, I just God. got an at home edition in from Cali. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, no, it is time for that sexy, sexy intro that we get to every, every episode. I, I do, I do miss the, uh, the old theme song, but we'll, we'll get, we'll get to it. Let's do it. Oh no. Something just covered that thing. Make those rainbows in my mind When I think of you sometime And I want to spend some time Yes, Excellent. now that we got through all of that, got some questions in, got some more questions in. Thank you guys so much for asking some amazing questions. We already got 20 questions ready for our Ooh. guest tonight. And, Thank of you. course, we had to have this guy on so close to Halloween because he's just coming out with great things. You know him from The Hunt, the champion over on The Hunt. You also might know him from every Sunday over Reverend Bleaker. Guys, I already said his name, so we might as well bring him out. Let's bring out my buddy, my fellow Canadian. Well, Roscoe's buddy, too. Just everybody's favorite. What? Bleaker you know Street Comics. <laughs> yes. Bleak in the building. What up, brother? I am not not too much. How you doing, boys? Good, man. Good. I'm so glad to have you on, bro. This is excellent. Yeah, I'm, uh, I was looking forward to it, and then I got scared, and then I started looking forward to it again. <laughs> <laughs> and then you were backstage for 15 minutes, and then you were, like, getting scared again. <laughs> it's like, uh, yeah, the backstage was all right. I was drawn a little bit, so, you know, it's helpful. Nice. Yeah, man. Thanks, brother. Well, thank you so much. Appreciate you being here. And, um, again, this is just uh, Ross is scared me. That's right, baby. <laughs> Um, we appreciate you being here, and uh, we're just here to have fun, man. You know what this, you know what the show is like. So absolutely, yeah. I actually love this sure. show, man. It's really uh, growing on me, and I've started to draw a lot more thanks to you, thanks to this show. That's excellent, bro. I know you've been sending some at home editions that have been awesome. Thanks, man. I appreciate yeah. that. That means, yeah, a, that means a lot coming from someone like you, dude. Uh, like you did that, um, like you did the Jack Skellington. 
Oh um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that was dope. So yeah, man. I mean, like I said, I I love we love the at home editions. Me and Travis, we love getting the people you know interacting. So again, thank you so much. Appreciate you um, being here. And um, man, I, like Travis said, we already got a ton of questions coming in. Nice, nice. What up, Dagger? What How you do doing, the, brother? What do the people want to know? Oh, they Everything know. they want. Yeah, they want to know like. Like how you were born, what your first word was, um, all of that fun stuff. Like, what was your first memory of like the food you ate? No, kidneys uh, <laughs> comic kid. What is up, my friend? What is up? Hey, what up, bro? A bunch of great people jumped in. Dagger cards, collecting with Durs, comic journey. Uh, the questions just keep jumping in. We got AR. What is up? Aggressively Every relaxing. Day. Every You'll be day. happy to hear that I've been loving the lower decks. Everybody, if you guys have Paramount Plus, definitely go check out the lower decks, Star Trek. Hilarious. Hilarious. So yeah. I'm going to start off the questions, even though we got like 25 questions already. Okay. I'm going to kick it off, and hopefully I, I never really saw what everybody was asked yet, just that they, they've asked a question. But I want to know what is your go-to horror movie uh, each year? Like, if you're going to be like, you know what, I gotta watch a watch a horror movie on Halloween night. What is your go-to? Uh, House of a Thousand Corpses. Definitely, Huge. definitely House of a Thousand Corpses, uh, or one of the three. I don't watch uh, the last one as much, but I'll watch uh, the um, Devil's Rejects a fair bit. Okay. Uh, Vogs, you send the art to me on Instagram, buddy. Oh, no, Dagger. You're going to do that quagmire crap that Journey does. <laughs> All right. Uh, Roscoe, do you want to ask a question before we get into these amazing questions that the chat has uh, asked? I absolutely do. Yes, I have a question for you, brother. Sure, um, man. If year was an action figure made of you, what would it what would you look like like what would what would you be you know you may have the face paint but i'm curious about that but what would your outfit be and what would your one accessory be oh i'd probably honestly i if there was a whole thing made it would probably just be an identical version of the crow i'm not gonna lie i literally have all that shit in my closet <laughs> I, I i dress as the crow a fair bit or i used to dress as the crow a fair bit now i just sort of save it for the hunt but uh yeah probably the crow and my accessory would be a joint <laughs> nice <laughs> <laughs> yes all right excellent <laughs> And uh, one more thing. Uh, what food do you absolutely hate? What's that? What food do you absolutely hate? Uh, lima beans and Brussels sprouts. Perfect. All right. Dude, <laughs> I haven't heard of lima, like anybody talk about lima beans. Like that has not been in my world. Like I haven't heard that in a while. So, yeah, it's because they're lima disgusting. beans. Yeah, like I, nobody has talked about lima beans in forever. First That's time they're years. gross or disgusting. Guess how many questions we have from the chat already? How many 4, we got? We, we got 32. That and I figured uh, I figured I'd kick off the questions and then Roscoe take over is for the second question to kind of ease you in and okay. not just bombard you with this question because I seen it come in and I was like, okay, no, we gotta ask him some some <laughs> leading questions before this one. All right. uh, but Evil's Comics wants to know what Kevin Smith movies have has Bleak seen. So I didn't want to just like be like, you know what, let's talk Kevin Smith right off huh. the bat. Evil's, you're just being a dick, but that's fine. That's fine. Uh, I've seen <laughs> almost every Kevin Smith movie except for uh, I turned Chasing Amy off, I think. And um, what other? Uh, I think pretty much all of his shit I've seen. Uh, oh shit you know what you know what i forgot what's that we forgot to say what tonight's theme was oh tonight's theme is horror icons uh any oh, of yeah. your fa favorite horror icons villains whatever you like if you know if you 
think you want to draw the Joker, that's fine too. Darth Vader, I think, would probably work. But, you know, horror icons. We're looking for Michael Myers. All those wonderful, awesome, scary dudes. Or some time for Halloween. Yeah, man, it is Halloween after all. Devil's Night. That's right. Uh, shut up Mike in the chat who uh, asked the question, what's tonight's theme? And it just reminded me <laughs> that we never said. So thank you, Mike. Yes, thank you, Mike. <laughs> Appreciate you, Mike. Uh, that's funny. All right. Um, I, I personally, yeah. I liked I liked Dogma. Dogma was like one of my favorite ones. Dogma was pretty good. I actually really like Dogma. I think I think we can all enjoy that movie. Again, I don't hate Kevin Smith's old stuff. He's pretty good. I think he's become a little obsolete now. I think he's resting on his laurels. And I think he is sucking the big dick of Hollywood right now. So I would like him to get back to some, maybe some older stuff, uh, some better ideas, some new stuff. And then maybe I'll forgive Kevin Smith, except he fucked up He-Man, so it's really hard. Oh. Uh, he, yeah. he, he did it all right. I enjoyed it. He did it all he, right. He, he, yeah, he does have a movie coming out in <laughs> very, very soon. Um, part of the... Uh, I forget what it's called, but it's it's not a it's not part of the SAG AFTRA. Okay. So just what are you? We'll see. It's it's a low budget movie that's going to be coming out. All right, Mama Roscoe wants to know what is your favorite Halloween candy? Uh, uh Reese's peanut butter cups. I don't really like candy so much. I'm more of a chocolate guy. I guess if I was to go straight candy, um, probably like like uh, gummy bears are really cool. I like gummy bears quite a bit. Mm. I like gummy bears too. Yeah, man. They're delicious. And adorable. Bite their heads off. Mm. I know. I know. I, I like anything gummy. Like that was my go-to. Yeah. Remember those frogs, the green frogs with the white bellies? Gummy those worms. Really yeah, man. All the all the gummy things. All the gummy things. Everything gummy. Candy corn is. Candy yeah. Corn who who said candy? Somebody said candy. <laughs> who the fuck was that? Sorry for my language. Whoever <laughs> that one deserves to be fucking shot. What the hell <laughs> kind of answer is that? No, candy they're. Corn. I guarantee you that they're they're clinically insane. That's insanity. <laughs> Nobody likes candy corn. <laughs> that was amazing. That was so like funny. if you say that you like candy corn, you're either insane or you're lying. I agree, hundred percent with that assessment. <laughs> it was uh, it was Hialeah. In fact, of course, it was Hialeah. <laughs> Guy's got no. That was our last guest. <laughs> Definitely he said uh, candy corn, I guess. Like, what? What do you mean? <laughs> that was great. Corn. Oh man, that's he's he's great. Yeah, I do love Hylia, he's pretty awesome, dude. Yeah, all right. Next question comes from Norm Rad. He wants to know Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan, or Jet Lee. Mm. Uh, my favorite guy to watch in movies is Jet Li out of those three, but my favorite Kung Fu dude is Bruce Lee by far. It's Bruce Lee, man. You can't, you can't mess with Bruce Lee. Better not. I know. <laughs> we, we, got, we got Mike saying he likes candy corn. Mike like, Of course Mike likes candy corn. He also likes Kevin Smith. Stop it, Mike. Oh no! Listen, listen, listen! <laughs> <laughs> you forget whose channel you're on. Uh -huh. I like Kevin Smith. <laughs> I know you do. I know you. Here, uh, Dagger Card says he likes candy and corn. Does that sure. count? That's fair. Together, mixed together, yeah, not so much, but uh, separately, I guess you can like both. Sure, I like candy and corn. Hmm. Depends on what kind of candy you mix with that. that Corn. Imagine like corn and pop rocks or something like. Uh, yeah, I, I don't. I don't think I'd be mixing candy with my regular food, but you know, let's teach their own. Teach their own. Definitely. Uh, Norn Rad wants to know Arnold, 
Stallone or a Van Damme? Um, I like how you said a Van Damme. I know Van Damme. Right? Van Damme all like he's got some sort of weird thing going on. Van Damme. A Van Damme. <laughs> um, that's a good question. I probably go Arnie on that one. That's my dog. Yeah, like I like Stallone. I like them all, but I'd probably go Arnie on that <laughs> one. I've seen more Arnie movies than, uh, well, maybe more Stallone movies, but I've enjoyed more Arnie movies. <laughs> yeah, Arnie, Arnie all the way. Yeah, man. I've gone. One of my favorite I mean, actors. It, it's it's no um, surprise. I'm going with Van Damme. Yeah, I, I so well, we can tell by the way you inflected his name there. I feel like you really like that guy. Van Damme. Um, this is a good question, actually. This next one comes from Cali Comics. Uh, who is your favorite historic historical figure? My favorite historical figure, Rasputin, probably. Uh, I I like Rasputin. I think he is really interesting. Uh. You know, banged a queen, survived a bunch of assassinations. I don't know. That's uh, that guy. Uh, that guy had sex with a queen, man. Uh, he is some good shit. He was, he he did some he did some good stuff. <laughs> nah, I'm just gonna take away from that that he had sex with a queen. So that's that's good enough for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he did good stuff, man. He was all right. All right, so this next question, you're really going to go deep into something, um, and you're really going to show show your cards of why you hate a certain person, and oh. you're gonna we're we're definitely going to see the hate flow. Oh no! But, but Mike wants to know <laughs> why do you hate Kevin Smith? Because he fucked up He Man. Kevin Smith can suck my fucking dick. That's why I fucking hate Kevin Smith. Kevin Smith fucked up He Man. He killed him like fucking three times. Brought him back to life, killed him again. He's a fucking douchebag, and he, uh, yeah, and he is sucking corporate Hollywood penis right now. That's why I hate Kevin Smith. There you go, Mike. That's why he hates Kevin Smith. <laughs> <laughs> I love how Roscoe literally covered his face in paper. <laughs> <laughs> That's because Roscoe's like, mom's watching. He doesn't want his he doesn't want his mom, his mom to catch him laugh at that um, terribleness. Hell no. <laughs> yeah, I like I'm sorry, but I like I do like the new He Man. Sorry, yeah. not sorry. You would. I'm just kidding. It's fine. You can like it. It's got good cartooning. I'll give you that. Again, I don't just because I say I hate something doesn't mean I can't appreciate the good things that are that about it. There are some good things about it. If they called it, uh, I don't know, just uh, Eternia, that would have been a good that would have been a good starting point. Yeah, that is true. He wasn't more; he was more in the second season than anything. Mm -hmm. um, and they're getting another series. So. Of, course, of course, they are. Uh, yeah, that, that, yeah. Tell us how you really feel about Kevin Smith. <laughs> <laughs> you asked. You asked. That's what you get. All right. <laughs> Next question comes from S. Vaughn 82. He wants, do you own a Dracula spatula? <laughs> no, I do not own a Dracula <laughs> spatula. But I feel like that's a great <laughs> thing to say together. Dracula spatula? That feels fucking <laughs> awesome. That feels great. It's almost as good as Baba Ganoush, but not quite. But Dracula spatula might be my new second favorite word. What about Scott Bakula with a Dracula spatula? Well, now you're just pushing it. Now you're just pushing it. <laughs> that, we're getting to tongue twist twisters now. Well, you couldn't even say that. I don't we're speak good English. English. You're I English, don't speak buddy. good English. I'm sorry. Bring Larry the Dragon back. <laughs> Oh we got us we got rid of we got rid of that TM asshole. Larry the Dragon back, guys. Hey, how's it going? Yes. Oh Larry, how you doing, buddy? Oh look at here. We got copy comics in here. We got hey, uh wow, copy. I can't even read with that mask on. Oh dude, dude, this is this is funny as heck, man. I don't know where I said this, 
was it i think it was on your stream uh yesterday <laughs> we got dana from Streamyard in here my question for tm is would he go out with Dana from Streamyard, remember how I was talking about? It's oh, like, hey, yeah, I'm Dana from yeah. Streamyard. He's the most yesterday. hated man on, on on YouTube or Streamyard right now. I see. Uh -oh. so you guys chit chat. Huh? Nice. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. Dana from Streamyard. Hey, it's Dana from Streamyard. <laughs> uh, no, I would not go out with uh, Dana from Streamyard. I would. I feel like you probably would. No. I'm pretty sure you would. Yeah, I'm pretty, you know, Roscoe knows too. I feel like you would. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. I'm like 98% sure you would. Uh, moving on. Uh, <laughs> Evil's Comics wants to know, uh, if you could live anywhere in America, where would you live? In America? Uh, yeah. Huh. That's a good question. Somewhere warm. I hate the cold weather, so wherever it's warm. Uh, uh, not Florida because Florida's fucked up, but, <laughs> oh, <thanks>. but like <laughs> pretty much anywhere but Florida. <laughs> uh, yeah, anywhere warm. I don't really like cold weather, so I would live anywhere warm, probably California, but California sort of sucks with all the laws and shit. Um, like I like California, I like the idea of California, but. I don't think it's he doesn't good. like laws. Where where you gonna go? Well, it's like too many fucking bullshit. Like water, everything is restricted. It's you know, it's fucking insane. Taxes are insane in California. So yeah. I don't know. I don't know where I'd go. Maybe and uh, Texas doesn't sound like a place a native person should go. I'm just saying. Let's go so, to like uh, Arizona. <laughs> no. Go to like Phoenix, Arizona. Yeah, maybe Phoenix, Arizona. That sounds like a good spot. I'm, I'm trying to think of where I would. Yeah, somewhere. I'd go visit. I, I'd go visit Roscoe, but I wouldn't go live in Florida. Like, I'd be too scared to walk down the street and get snatched by an alligator or something. Mm -hmm. Oh, alligators! That's a scary thought. It happens. So look out. Fuck off! Really? That happens where you live? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, if you get too close to like a pond or something, man, or like a. Yeah, man, there could be a gator that grabs you. There's, yeah. That's fucking insane. Yeah, who, man. The, who the fuck pitched a tent there the first fucking time? It sounded weird when I said it. Sorry. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, like there's like these ponds and stuff, and people walk their dogs, and then all of a sudden it looks like it's about to go after the oh, dog. Man. And then people are like, no, get away from my dog. And then they're like, all right, I'll go after you. And then, yeah, there, there's a video. There's actually a video of that actual event. That's insanity, man. It happens. Uh, just type in... Uh, you just got to type in woman, dog, alligator, eat, and it, it'll come up. Like oh, at this yeah. point, you don't even have to speak like proper English. Well, it's I'm pretty sure words. they rob... They rob like... I don't know, food places with alligators in Florida. People are chucking alligators at each other and shit. So, oh, seems like a weird. You guys and your we alligators. Got we got Papa Roscoe in the building. That's, that's another thing. Like, I can't understand people that live in Australia. Like, everything wants to kill me in Australia, but Australia seems like it'd be all right to live. I, I don't know. I feel like I want to live in Australia, but I don't want to die. <laughs> yeah, right. I get to meet whack comics if uh, I. Really? Vox, mm -hmm. make sure to put a Q uh, in, in front of your question. I'll, I'll let you get away with it this one time, but you are oh. docked 10 points. They're really sticklers about the Q, Vox. You got to put the Q, buddy. <laughs> yeah, you better look out. TM's on you. Oh, man. Right. This is looking pretty cool, what I'm doing. I'm not hating what I'm doing either, actually. I'm pretty sort of happy about it. Me too. I'm liking what I'm doing too. All right. What do we got? What's next? <laughs> I, don't, I don't got anything. Uh, what is up, Dr. Von Hood? Of course, we got uh, Papa Roscoe in the building as well. Uh, DBH. Oh, Evening in betweeners. Sorry I'm late. That's all right. Unforgiven. Unforgiven. Roscoe, when do you want to cut off questions tonight? We got 38 so far. Uh, well, I mean,. Let Dr. Von Hood ask his question. Did he ask his? 
Uh, yes, he just did. He just did. Okay. Let's cut it off with the, the uh, I think two more people just asked questions. So let, it's at, end it there. All right. Yeah, because that leaves us with, what, 40 questions left? 40 questions in 40 minutes. Yeah. We got Bleaker Street Comics in the building. What's up, Bleaker? This is or it, Bleaker. baby. Living the dream. No, we, got, we, we do got Bleaker in the building, but we also got Immortal Biggie Shack. I was reading what he was saying. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, what? Wait a second. I know. I'm like, I said hi, but I'll say it again. I'll say it again. Yeah, we just want to say hi again. Uh, we got Papa Wheelie in the building. What is up, Papa? Hey, hey what up, Papa? Uh, you buddy? We also got Brother Joe in the building. What is up, Brother, Brother Joe? Joe? I can hear Brother Joe singing from here. Yes, sir. All right, let's get back to these questions that we have. We still got 40 left, and then that is it. We're ending the questions right now on uh, Dr. Von Hoot. Everybody else's questions prior to that have been starred and uh, ready to ask. And I want to say hello to actual Dracula, who was just over on s 82's channel. What is that, my what friend? Hopefully you're drawing from home tonight as well. Yeah, Drac, I want to see a good drawing, buddy. Mike's like, nah, I'm good. Nope. Nope, you better do it. We're Canadian. I am Canadian. All right, next question comes from Norn Rad. He wants to know, who would win, Jason or Michael Myers? Uh, Jason. Ooh, good question. Jason would win in that battle without a doubt. He, uh... He's more, uh, I don't know, he's got some satanic powers, man. Mike Myers is just a dude. All right. Next question comes from Big B McFly. Top three movies that actually scare, uh, scared you recently? Recently? Not much, man. I'm an adult. Nothing really scares me anymore. Um, but top three movies that probably scared me the most when I was a little kid because I watched them way too early were Friday the 13th Part 1 and Piranha. I watched those movies when I was about six and scared the fucking shit out of me. So, yeah. Those Piranha. Were my, yeah, Piranha scared the crap out of me, man. And same with Jason. I was living in some weird family, like an adoptive family and. Yeah, they were fucking mean, telling me Jason was coming to get me and shit. What the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> shit. yeah, some fuck fucked up people. shit, bro. It was some fucked up shit. Fuck those people. Yep, agreed, my man. Agreed. Yeah, twenty nine uh, people. Came I saw Candyman too young as a kid. Oh, I like Candyman. That's a good one. Yeah, it's all that kind of young though, so I was like. Yeah, if you see some of those things really young, they can like they can fuck with you, man. Yeah, looking in the mirror and shit. Yeah, yeah. I remember they were playing that in my school, Candyman and Bloody Mary. Yeah, right. you guys are crazy, man. You guys are crazy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. I, I have a feeling I know what one you're going to pick. Okay. But I'll be pretty mad that you pick. Uh, Norn Rad wants to know who would win, Sandman, uh, Morpheus, or The Crow? Sandman, Morpheus, or The Crow? Like the Sandman, uh, like the, from like the Sandman series, like Morpheus, yeah, yeah. a.k.a. Dream? A.k.a. Dream, Morpheus' is Dream. Or the crow. Well, the crow wouldn't win that battle. Sadly, we're going to take the crow out of that battle. Um, probably Sandman. He's, uh, he's, oh. a pretty, he's a pretty powerful entity. He is. I love Sandman. I'm glad you picked him. You passed. <laughs> Thanks, CM. I appreciate that. Uh, Mike wants to know, who would win, Sting or the crow? <laughs> Sting or the crow? Oh, the crow would kick Sting's ass. 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Next question comes from Mike again. Favorite indie comic? Favorite indie comic? Watchmen? It was my favorite indie comic ever. Watchmen and maybe V for Vendetta. Oh, nice. Are both out of the line. Both are acceptable by TM Nerdy. Oh, good. Good. I'm glad I can <laughs> be accepted by TM. That's good. Yeah. I would have also accepted. Uh, no, he's not. Oh, I can't even be like. I can't even be like Animal Man because like Animal Man's technically not. And yeah. I, I was gonna say that Watchmen is technically DC. Mm, it is now. It wasn't when it was written. That is true. That's definitely true. And it, it, it well, don't pains. fuck with me, TM. Don't fuck with me, man. <laughs> it pains Alan Moore every day that he knows that DC owns Watchmen. Yeah, it probably does actually. I would imagine. See, he's not a fan. Not a fan. Chill. Animal Man. All right. Next question's from Evil's Comics. Did you hit that like button? Did mm -hmm. you? Uh, I haven't had a chance to, Mike, but <laughs> oh, I will. damn. I will. I'm draw I'm drawing right now, so it's difficult to hit the like button, but I definitely will hit the like button. I've hit it before. I've tickled it many times. <laughs> tickle, tickle. <laughs> All right. Who wins Spidey 2099 or Batman Beyond? Norn Rad wants to know. Spider-Man 2099. Even though I like Batman Beyond better, Spider-Man 29 clearly wins that fight. Yeah, he, I think he has a lot more equipment. Uh, he has a lot more. He's got a lot more stuff at his disposal. That's for sure. All right. Next question comes from Evil's Comics. Who is your second, not your first, but your second favorite villain? My second favorite villain? I'm guessing well, this is of like all time. Like it doesn't have to be comic books. It could be any anything from pop culture. Um, well, it switches between Darth Vader and the Joker all the time. Those are my two favorite villains. Those are will probably always be top two favorite villains. Uh, have you, pretty, uh, pretty watch, safe answers, watch, but they're pretty good. Have you watched the uh, Ahsoka yet? Uh, I haven't been able to finish Ahsoka yet because my TV crapped out. Uh, my my streaming thing cracked crapped out, so I gotta fix it. I, I like what they did with a certain character, and you you like that you like it when you see it too. I think it happens in like I want to say episode three or four. Nice. I forget which one. Um, you you'll definitely like it. I like that. Uh, That's cool. It has to do with Darth Vader. Well, okay, all right. Darth Vader's pretty awesome. All right, all right. Glenn Boiler wants to work. Jerk. <laughs> Shut up. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna. I'll, I'll. I'll say what. I, it's a show that came out a while ago. You guys, it's your fault for not watching it. I'm gonna turn it into Dennis from It's Sunny in Philadelphia. It's your fault. You're doing. The, you're making me do this. Get out of here. <laughs> um, why haven't you seen My Fair Lady yet? Glenn wants to know. I have seen my fair lady, motherfucker. <laughs> Glenn, the rain in Spain falls gently on the motherfucking plain. So take that. Take that, Glenn. Damn, Glenn. This was the 90s. I'd be like, you got served. Yeah. 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 I was serving some stuff. <laughs> Damn. Uh,. <laughs> okay. Uh, Phil wants to know if the plural for goose is geese, what's the plural for moose? Meese or mooses. Both of the, both are acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> Moosers. Moosers. Um, that's only if you live in the East Coast, Canada. <laughs> <laughs> Look out for those moosers, eh? Look out for them moosers there, bud. Look out there, bud. 
Dude, Callie, are you being serious? You're getting married in the morning? That's awesome. Fuck off. Really? Callie? <clears throat> Congratulations. I would, Congrats, I, bro. That's I, awesome. For some reason, I thought you were already married, but wow. Good for you, buddy. Heck yeah. Well, congrats, bro. To to Mr. and Mrs. Callie. Yeah. Sounds lovely. I'm pumping you, through I, these questions. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, no, no. It's fine. It's totally good. I'm good. Okay. Um... Phil wants to know, how do you feel about having a king? About having a king? Phil, we don't have Oh, a king. oh, yeah, well, technically... There's no king. Since the queen died. Uh, okay. Well, there hasn't so... been a... There hasn't been announced a king yet. <sighs> all right, here we go. I'm native, Phil. Fuck the queen. Fuck all her fucking bullshit. Fuck her colonizing stupid ass. And fuck the king, too. There you go. You heard it here. Thank you so much <laughs> for the question. <laughs> Thank you so much, Brian and Chop and Drop, for just jumping in on that that note. What is up, Chop and Drop, and what is up, Brian LCS? Uh, we were just shouting out the CBC Awards. Uh, if you want to know more about the CBC Awards, you can definitely check it out on Instagram, CBC Awards on Instagram. But uh, again. Uh, this guy down here, Bleaker Street, was nominated for best hair. Because look at that! Look at the locks on him. Let, let, let's get a like uh, a look better look shit, at these baby. locks. Look at that! Look at that stuff. Best that hair going? in the comic community. Rock star. I'm a dirty, dirty rock star. Yeah. Like, uh, I try to do it too. Uh, <laughs> uh, your hair looks pretty good too. Is that Tina? I'm guessing. That's right, mm -hmm. Tina Belcher. You're Miss Tina Belcher, eh? My girl. She's actually probably one of my favorite ones on that show. Oh yeah, she's amazing. I like the, the little, shirt on too. I like the, the show. The little girl's voice gets a little bit on my nerves once in a while, but other than that, the show is really good. You mean Louise? Uh, yeah, she fuck her. Her voice gets on my nerves. I, I, I like her so much yeah, me she's too. like my favorite like she is like my idol I want to be my to idol that's it. that's yeah. pretty strong yeah <laughs> <laughs> that little girl is my idol holy um, macaroni no i want to say hello to taylor winder tw i'm guessing hey, columbus is your favorite person ever columbus yeah he's totally my favorite <laughs> <laughs> love that guy um, and, and Brian says, like I stated that earlier too, so close to 2K, 2K votes um, on a, on their way to it. So just under three weeks to vote. Uh, let's get 2,000 votes in, guys. Let's get it. Uh, tell your mom, tell your neighbors, uh, just run up to any stranger on the road and say, listen, cbcawards.org. And okay. they'll say, what? And we'll just, just say, shut up, cbcawards.org. Go there. Go vote. Go check out these channels. Just do it. Do it now or I'll stab you. I'll stab oh you with God. this knife that just showed up in my hand. If you do not go to cbcawards.org. Nah, don't take it that seriously. I'm That's being cool. kind of – I'm being jokey. It's 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 the day before Halloween. We're supposed to have some fun with it. Do not go stab people. I'm having yeah. some fun. Just, or just or go stab people. <laughs> sure. People do that and then they refer back to this video. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That dude from between the lines said, "Go stab people." Though I was told nope. by God. <laughs> <laughs> it was Larry the Dragon, guys. It was Larry the Dragon. <laughs> this guy, Larry the Dragon, <laughs> told me to stab people. And that's your first mistake. If you like, if you're literally telling people, "No, oh, it's because Larry the Dragon told me to go do it," and you listen to him. Yeah, there's probably like, a problem. There's probably a problem. Yeah. Well, Larry right, can be right. pretty persuasive. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Canadians are violent. <laughs> Love that. Uh, TM is an advocate for stabbing people. <laughs> All right, mm -hmm. cool. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Yeah. All right. Next question comes from Evil's Comics. I'm going to answer this right away. I have not seen any of them. I'm not going to go watch it, but he wants to know if you have seen it. Have you seen Human Centipede? No, I haven't seen it. Uh, I don't know if I could watch it. I I wanted to watch it. I'm not sure I can. <laughs> it is. That's a messed up concept, man. I, I haven't watched Walrus yet either, so I'm not well, sure. Uh, uh, Tusk? Yeah, Tusk or whatever. Yeah, I don't yeah. know if I could handle watching that kind of. Uh... I've. Yeah, it safe to say so, uh, it, it was. I, I've watched that. Like I'd watch. I'd rather that watch that than Human Centipede because I've never watched Human Centipede, but I've seen Tusk. Yeah, it just seems like weird stuff, man. Callie says Tusk is way better. See, I can't speak on that because I haven't seen Human Centipede, but I like yeah, Tusk. Tusk is supposed to be pretty good. I don't know if I can watch it, but it's supposed to be pretty good. Because it's Kevin James. Kevin Smith. I mean, not Kevin, Kevin Smith, I mean. Is it Kevin Smith? Yeah, I guess that yeah. that's one of his. <laughs> no, it's right. Kevin James. It's not Kevin Smith. No, it's getting... Thank God. I, I, love, go I love that you said, I love that you said Kevin James because they like, they, he makes fun of himself and like, uh, I think it was Jane Silent Bob uh, reboot. It's just like, oh, I'm going with this Kevin James fuck. <laughs> it's like, because he's just like pointing at this, like, because uh, Kevin Smith played Kevin Smith in that movie. That sounds like something Kevin Smith would do. Oh, he was just there for a joke. Like, the Silent Bob was still in the movie, and then Jay and Silent Bob, and then they were like, yeah, this Kevin Smith fuck, Kevin James fuck, would be what J Jason Muse would always say. <laughs> Uh, eh, hello, the great legend show. What is up? Legend. Hey, what up, legend? Uh, everybody's saying Tusk is great. Uh, yeah, that's what I've heard. I've heard that actually. Hmm. What is up, Comic Ozzy, man? Comic Ozzy. Hey, the what up, Ozzy? Ozzy, how you doing, brother? Paul Blart, the mall centipede. <laughs> oh, no. Ew. Yeah, I don't know if that'd be great for his career. The 27 people still watching. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, appreciate everyone. Thank you. I Next hope. question comes from Phil from Phil's Treehouse. What is your drink order at your favorite coffee shop? Uh, chocolate milk. Yes. I don't drink coffee, Phil. I drink chocolate milk and I drink Jack Daniels, baby. Together. <laughs> if I can, maybe. <laughs> That would be so gross. Yeah, it would. Yeah. It would. In a dirty glass. In a dirty glass. <laughs> but it's yeah. all right. I wiped it out with my shirt. That's right. <laughs> I'm clean like that. All right. See, I I get three cream. I don't get any sugar. I guess when I I have had coffee, I can do double double if I'm just gonna get it. Um, but I like coffee for me has to be like coffee cake. I don't really like coffee that much. So. That's fair. Hmm. Not a lot of people do. And like for me, like and coffee's so addictive. Like I'm addicted to coffee. I'll admit it. I'm addicted. If I don't have caffeine, I get one of those front headaches. And I I like I remember the power went out for like. Uh, on the second day, the power was out when we had that big storm here. Yeah, uh, I had that. The, the headache was so bad that I was throwing up, and that was due to like not having caffeine. Yeah, so like your, caffeine can be pretty bad. To, that's your that's addiction. Time. Yeah, as I just take another sip of my coffee because I need it. <laughs> um, uh, Pop, the questions are. are um, we we uh, close the questions down, buddy. What did he ask? <laughs> I'll allow his question. I'll allow, I'll allow his. You'll allow his question. Okay, I'll start his question. Yeah, I'll definitely let him ask that question. All oh, right. geez, this is probably about fucking Thundercats. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know you. I know right, you well, Nick. Papa. I know you well. That's funny as shit. I love it. Next question comes from Glenn. Sexy, gorgeous Man. Glenn from the UK. Uh, what is your favorite film of all time? 
uh, Empire Strikes Back. Good answer. Good answer. I like but it. Also, that I also really, that was really easy. <laughs> He'll accept that answer. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll accept that answer, but I, I think Rise of Skywalker is better. <sighs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm just going to sigh a bit. Um, <laughs> uh, th this question could be easy to answer. Um, McDonald's or Taco Bell? Oh, McDonald's by far. Taco Bell is so gross, bro. Uh, it is really? like, really, yeah, it is like D class, fucking Z class meat. Do not eat like Taco Bell. It's fucking nasty ass shit. Hmm. Yeah. I'd rather go with the uh the enemy I know than the enemy that's fucking gross. Ugh. <laughs> Not gonna lie, like there are like big wraps that they have at McDonald's. I like those with the grilled chicken. Uh, I haven't been to McDonald's in a while though. I yeah, McDonald's is a bit of a that's one of my sort of weaknesses is McDonald's, to be honest. I really like McDonald's. I like pie. Pie is the best. <laughs> uh, who wins in a fight to the death? Garfield the cat or uh, Heathcliff the cat? Ooh. Like uh, wants to know. Heathcliff <laughs> wins that fight. Garfield's um, too lazy. I Great agree. answer. I think that's the perfect answer. <laughs> as much as I love my man Garfield Oh, I love Garfield I love him, he's great Very true, he is a lazy man -ajama. Pretty lazy, that guy This is a really good question Bill's Treehouse wants to know What's your favorite memory with poutine in it? My favorite memory with poutine um, I used to work at a place called U.S. Uh, screen products and there was a poutine uh, like a fry truck around the corner it had the best poutine and uh, I went and got fries for lunch and I didn't go back to work because I banged the chick that was behind the poutine counter and that's my favorite poutine memory thanks Phil Phil remembered that <laughs> well, yes Phil was there. <laughs> Phil was the word. Phil was the was the uh, one of the waiters. <laughs> uh, shit. All right, Dagger Cards asks. He says, "Quagmire, now that you have mastered the um uh." Uh, luscious locks do you ever plan to grow on even sexier beard uh i'm native so it's really hard for me to grow facial hair i can grow like a mustache and like a maybe a goatee uh it's also like gone weird colors so i don't really like to do it makes makes me look old so no probably not probably not also, Phil wants to let you know that he still has the VHS, the video film of you and that girl. I appreciate that, Phil. I appreciate that. If you want a copy, uh, he's willing to make an extra. We're he's keeping the original. He's, he, he's going to send you it, just a, a copy. Mm, that sounds like something Phil would do. <laughs> mm -hmm. What is up, Trev? My American dad. Hey, what up, Trev? Saying hello, Travis, my Canadian son. Hashtag my pet Roscoe, Reverend Bleaker. Hey, and hey. nice. Appreciate everybody that's watching tonight. Thank you very much. I hope you're all having an awesome time drawing. Oh man. Okay. How you doing over there, Tina? Uh. No, I'm doing okay. <laughs> that was great. We have 31 people still watching us. 
make sure to Thank rub you, that everyone. like button. Yeah, appreciate rub everyone. Thank you so much. We got Bobby Delegato in the building. What is up, Bobby? Oh, Bobby, I hope that you're going to send us something. He always does. He always does. So this next question comes from Mike. He wants to know Sandman, like the the dream slash Morpheus versus Freddy Krueger. Krueger. Who kills uh, who? I think Sandman actually wins that fight. Yeah. I, I'd have to. Yeah, I definitely definitely think so, too. Of course, that's, the a, fact. that's a guess, but I really believe that he uh, he is the superior being in that fight. Yeah, because he rules over the dreamland. Um, Freddy yeah. has just come in. He's kind of like the Corinthian, though, but the Corinthian ended up dying anyway. Well, um, done, well, yeah, but he ended up stopping him, even though he's part of the nightmares. I feel uh, like somebody Freddy's like was, was yeah cute. somebody like uh sandman could just take away freddy's ability to rule dreamland like, yeah that, that's mine thank you taking that back so mm -hmm. what is up colossus collector colossus how you doing buddy colossus, yes fuck i'm really happy with this picture it's weird see look at this see All right. All Next right. question comes from Bill's Freehouse. Which do you like more? Your favorite comic, your favorite novel, or your favorite music album? Hmm, that's a good question. Uh, I probably spend more time with my comics, um, but I enjoy my music albums a little more. Uh, I don't have too many album albums, but I do have a few. I like to collect records. So. I do have a couple. We got some David Bowie and some uh, Velvet Underground and shit like that. Some Iggy Pop back here. So, yeah, probably my albums. Right. Yeah. I like looking at. I, I like my comics. Yeah, I like my comics. Yeah, me too. Right, but and I like everything that I collect. Really. Yeah, it's true. Me too. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I was like, I don't know. It's hard to say. Unless I wouldn't be collecting it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. I, I I do say like I I have more of like I do have some collectibles that I love, like stuff signed by he who should not be named. Um, but like I, I have more comics than anything else. So, but I love my figures. I love my like Beast Wars figures as well. Yeah, you're big into the Beast Wars stuff. I came out my golden age of youth. I mean, I came out. I was de I was definitely. I think I was like eight. So. Next question comes from Comic Journey. We've got 35 people watching. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Yeah, 36, appreciate it. 36 Thank guys. Thank you guys so much. Um, comic Journey wants to know, uh, who is who do you think the scariest looking comic community member is? Scariest, scariest looking comic community member? Mm -hmm. uh, like, I would be scared of them or they're ugly? Or what? Like, what do you mean, Comic Journey? Are they ugly, or am I just supposed to be scared of them? Because I'm gonna tell you something, buddy. I ain't scared of nobody. I guess. I guess we'll have to go with the ugliest. It's really ugliest, putting you on the spot, too. Ugliest comic community member? Well, I don't know. Probably TM. You know, he's pretty. He's pretty raunchy looking. Look at that guy. Yeah, mm -hmm. most of my videos that uh, I have my camera off like this, <laughs> I, I get the most views because they're just like, all right, we can deal with this voice. So just like, just turn off your camera, dude. I know. I, I understand that. I get that. It's nice that you, you know, you you do that. I have, I have, a, fa I have a face for radio. <laughs> no, you don't. You're, don't you're a handsome bloke, buddy. You're a handsome bloke. You're all yeah, right. Don't let, them, don't let anyone tell you wrong. What is up? Uh, Son of a Bruce, this is my comic shop. This is uh, the shop that I use to get my weekly comic books every 
Tuesday because I mostly only get DC comics. So, um, yeah. Son of TM a is, the... is, your, is your comic guy? Yeah, Retro Rocket Comics. Nice. Uh, for all my new comic book needs. Nice. So I, 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 I get new comic books quite often. Um, yeah. Kind of getting lower now, though, because uh, some stuff has ended. Like Peacemaker tries hard, and Unstoppable Doom Patrol has stopped, and it's just ended as well. So. Nice. TM has the best moves, though. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you're looking at my chest, buddy. We've all, we've all I don't believe it. I want to... I'm going to contest it. I think I am the best. <laughs> so... I'm shipping your books out this week, by the way. Awesome. Awesome. I'll be doing a live video unboxing of that. So I'll just get... Right. Next question. This is an easy one. Easy one. Uh, Phil always asks this question each and every week. He wants to know, pineapple on pizza? Yes or no? Yes, I love pineapple and hot peppers on my pizza. But I won't just have pineapple on pizza without hot peppers. It's got to be pineapple with hot peppers. And, of course, pepperoni or ham or whatever meat you fucking want. Cock, I don't care. But, you know, <laughs> whatever, you, whatever meat you like. Where do you order your pizzas from? <laughs> Jeez, holy crap. Man, uh, Canada is definitely a different kind of animal. We, we have a, a special menu for it. It's just like, yeah, I just want some of that dick on my pizza. You know, I got my pizza, please. That sounds like a porno. Wow. Well, how do you think that? Extra salty. Listen, 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 that's how it happened in Canada. We started putting dicks on pizzas, then the delivery guy and the woman sex video started to happen. It all happened because of Canada. Blame Canada. That's fair. That's fair. We're terrible influence on people. Man, you got some that doesn't work. Just put a chick in it and make her gay. Oh, yeah. Sound like Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Glenn versus Roscoe versus TM in the Moo battle. Let's go. Uh, I'm gonna have to say TM wins that battle. Damn it! Yeah, sorry, Roscoe. I tried, buddy. Well, I give up. <laughs> See what I mean? See what I mean? I'm just saying. <laughs> Damn it! Am I really wrong? Uh, I like this Colossus collector. The sweet and spicy cock pizza from Boston Pizza. Oh yeah, man! Mm. Yeah, everybody loves it. You can get a thir uh, 14 inch now for for twenty four ninety nine. Wow! Get it fast because these wangs be flying off the shelves. <laughs> All right, moving on. <laughs> I'm done with that. Uh, didn't we already? I I feel like this question's already been asked tonight. All right. Or was it worse candy? But Phil wants to know your favorite Halloween candy. Yeah, that was asked tonight. And if it's candy, I go gummy bears. If it's uh, like I like chocolate bars more than candy. So I usually like little Snickers bars or uh, Reese's peanut butter cups or uh, Twix, little tiny Twixes. Mm. See, I'm a huge <laughs> O. Henry fan. When you're this big, is that what you're telling me? No, like oh Henry, you know. Yeah, yeah. Oh Henry, I love oh Henry, and I love like the Reese's Pieces oh Henry mix up too. I love those. Okay. Um, I love. It's gonna sound wrong, guys, and and anybody can clip this. Like I'll, I'll even make it easier for you guys uh, to clip this right here, and I'll just do this. All right. You guys ready? I yeah. like nuts. <laughs> you <laughs> do like nuts. You heard it here, people. You heard it here. Yeah, well, who didn't know that? Yeah, I was gonna, it's not like new information. <laughs> uh, I like the nougat in it too, and the caramel. And I just think it's really good with the chocolate mix in and stuff. So it's, I, I love O'Henry. 
We don't have baby Ruth here. No. No, we don't. It's actually I'm pissed off about what? that because it looks delicious. Baby Ruth looks really good. You guys don't have Baby Ruth? No. Ooh, no. Baby Ruths are good. I figured it looks like it would be really good. Yeah, uh, Baby Ruth is good stuff. Actually, I'm, I'm thinking of watching Trick or Treat. Um, this house. I, I wanted to watch Scream 5 and 6, but I can't find them. So I, I think I'm going to settle for Trick or Treat. I haven't watched that movie yet. Okay. I thought they were on Paramount. One is. Oh, and it's okay. six. And I'm not going to watch six without watching five. Oh, all right. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. But we're not watching them out of order, Roscoe. Yeah, my bad. I forgot which one you were on. My oh, my fault. <laughs> forgot. Yeah, my, my bad, bro. Terrible. You're a terrible friend. Yeah. <laughs> I'm leaving. I've already I've already done the seven day free trial as well. And yeah, for Paramount. Um but it only it only has a sixth one. I, I can't do it. I can't. I was going to, I was tempted when I had the trial. I was like, ah, and then I was like, no, I can't do it. I can't do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Tina. All right then. I like but Mike wants to know. What would your tragic crow backstory be? Um, Mike, I have a tragic throwback story. So, uh, I okay. Let me see. I would be born by a hooker into a family where your dad stabs your mother and burns down the apartment building you live in. And then he would leave and then you would have to take your little sisters out of their cribs and take them next door. And then the cops would come and take you to another crazy Christian family. And then you would realize you're way better than everybody and have superpowers and you get the fuck out of there. Here's my story. Print it. Let's go. <laughs> you hear it, Mike? Mike, you better have written that shit down and we're printing it right yeah. now. I've gotten Robert Kirkman on the phone. It's, uh, it's, it's more, there's more there's more realism to that story than you can imagine. It's all right. I love your elevator pitch. We're going with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I always like to draw on real real experiences. You know how it is. That's how I became right, famous. Mike says he did. He wrote it down. Perfect. 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 Uh, all right. Can you do it? Oh, there you go. Uh, right. Yeah, he just wants to. Oh, it's one right here. Uh, <laughs> well, that's pretty good. Uh, <laughs> that's that's your uh, impression of the night. That's okay. my impression of Tina. I don't. I can't do. I can't really like, like, like Tina's like uh, very. That's a that's a very difficult like impression to do. But I, I could do that. You did a pretty good job, actually. Uh, there it is. There's the Tina we all know and love. <laughs> It's actually, it's actually funny too. It's like the the whole family, the whole cast of the family. There's only one female that actually voices, it is like a voice actor in the family. The rest are all males. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, Quasimodo. What is your favorite cosplay you would want to see a potential date in? A potential date i always wanted to date a furry so uh probably i don't know like a really cute wolf mask or something that'd be hot now i'm gonna do a follow-up question does she have to have that anal anal tail like you know how like it has like that eight like what? that metal ball at the end and that and she sticks it up her bum and it looks like she has a tail coming out oh Those i know i know i know what you speak of i just wanted you to explain it further um okay. yeah uh well it would be better if she did because then i know she doesn't mind that sort of thing <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> okay she passes this test i, didn't I don't even have to do i don't have to ask too many questions <laughs> yeah. you know what i'm saying that's all that's all yeah that is true mm -hmm. right. <laughs> Callie. <laughs> Callie. fuck you you are in luck because TM has a wolf furry costume with that tail. 
Yeah. That's why I was asking. That's why I was asking yeah. that specific question. It needs to have a little less um, cock, I think, is the word for it. A little less <laughs> cock. I, you know what? That's like that's. I feel like that's kind of a compliment. It's like you got you got a lot of cock on you. So, <laughs> a, little, a little less, a little less. So you're not going to his pizza place? No, <laughs> no, no, we're not going to that pizza joint. <laughs> Uh, anybody that's watching this new, uh, that's new here and stuff, we're not always like this with all of our guests. Just, we know Bleaker. Um, and yeah. I'm a special case, people. I'm a special Yeah, we're, we're somewhat professional sometimes, usually. Yeah, like if I was Tyler Kirkham, there wouldn't be a lot of cock and ball questions. Come on, people. Let's <laughs> well, maybe. <laughs> Who knows what he brings up? Actually, yeah, dude, I, I, I do think there would be some cock and ball jokes with Robert okay. Kirkman. All right. I mean, <laughs> we had um, we had Ben Templeton, and that kind of went a little off the rails a few times, and that was fun. I dig that. Yeah, you guys have some cool people on, man. I really like your oh. show, by the way. It's very cool. Puff Comics. What is that, my friend? Hey, what a Puff? Puff, man. How you doing, bro? Uh, we got 15 questions left. I don't like this next question, but I'm going to ask it anyway. Uh, Kevin Smith, repulsive or repugnant? Both. <laughs> Sorry, Dan. <laughs> they, keep, they keep asking, bro. They keep asking. Uh, I, can't, I can't be like, you know what? You should lie. Um, <laughs> we want you to be honest. I used to like him a lot when he first started. I thought he was very interesting. I thought he was a breath of fresh air. And now he is just like the rest of them. All right. Since that's been said, we'll move on. <laughs> uh, Comic Journey wants to know, what is your favorite YouTube channel outside of your own? My favorite YouTube channel outside of my own. Uh, I'm supposed to probably say Insomniac Comic Book Theater here. I feel like I'm getting set up to say that. Yeah, yeah, but that's a trap. You just, you just I feel like it's a, yeah, it's like a thirst trap. I'm not sure if I should. <laughs> just, be, just, just because um, it, it's better if you don't pick it. Just I'm giving you a fair warning because the next question's kind of, kind of already props him up. So. Ah, oh, that's fair. That's fair. You know, the problem is he's probably the channel I watch the most. Uh, certainly with the most um, regularity, anyway. Uh, yeah, that's probably Insomniac Comic Book Theater, man. You're welcome, Journey. Ah, next question he asks: Why do you think Comic Journey's channel is the greatest gift to the comic community? Oh, geez. Um, I think that the greatest gift to the comic book community is probably going to be the day that you lose your voice, Comic Journey. Ooh. I'm just kidding, buddy. Uh, I don't have an answer for that. I don't have an answer. I don't have an answer for that, man. I think you're awesome. Uh, do I think you're a gift to the community? I think that's a little, <laughs> that's a little, uh, Perfect. a little obnoxious there, Kevin Smith. Um, but oh no, <laughs> yeah, I can always find a way to bring it back to Kevin Smith. <laughs> what is up, Cryo Cody? Man? Hey, what up, Cryo? He'll be our guest. I think I think I've seen it two weeks. Two weeks. He's he'll be our guest. Two weeks. Nice. Nice. Excellent. We've already got at homes from those people, and those people, when when we come back to that week, I'll just be like, just resend them, um, because we've already had at homes from Crowd Prime because we had to reschedule with him. Uh, this is this is what I was worried about, man. Right here. Okay, okay. This, this is what I was worried about. All right. Lay it Straight on to me. his head. Straight to his head. <laughs> I'm the best. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I like hearing him say it, so I'll give him that, man. 
You are the best, Jeremy. You're the best. He's he's ridiculous. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> How can you not love that guy? Uh, you're not. You're you're like a really crappy artist, though, Journey. Ask Biggie. His Don't kid. get him started on that, man. Like, that was <laughs> that's whole discussion for like at least four times. <laughs> Um, who wins in a fight? Norman Rad wants to know. CJ or Nauman? <laughs> That's a I I I don't know. I think I think Nauman wins that fight. Not because I don't think CJ is tough. I think Nauman holds some some rage in there. Some secret CJ. I hate you. Rage. <laughs> keep fucking with me on live streams. I feel like that would come into play. So. I think Nauman would win. But he would cry while he was doing it, though. And he would throw really weird punches. That's that's how I see that happening. <laughs> I'm going to say Nauman wins. The comic journey is inferior. Well, I don't know about that. but <laughs> I need to knock him down just a little bit. That's fair. That's fair. Keep him down. Now, will you be giving out digital candy? Uh, digital candy? Yeah. Uh, yes? Sure. <laughs> don't agree to it. Oh, damn it. I, I, don't, I don't really don't know how to answer this. I don't know how to answer this, but sure. I'll give you some. I good. think he wants uh, pictures. Oh, oh. Oh, I see. Digital oh. candy sounds like pictures to me. Digital candy. I could, I could, you know, I could send you some pictures. What do you need? I got pictures of all sorts of things. I could <laughs> do something for you, I guess. <laughs> I guess. I love it. Oh, man. I'm trained by Mr. Miyagi. Who? Mr. I know I said that's so weird. Who's Mr. Miyagi? <laughs> not, is that a, is that somebody Mr. we're supposed to know? Mr. Miyagi, yo, he was. Well, I guess Nauman wasn't trained by Mr. Miyagi, but but he was trained <laughs> was, by Mr. Miyagi. Just like, Mr. Yeah, Miyagi. Yeah, it was close enough. Yeah, the, the names are close enough. Like he was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna go with this. I can't get the real one, so I'm gonna get the wish one. Huh. Nauman was trained by Mr. Miyagi. Yeah, yeah Mr. Miyagi. <laughs> Good luck now, CJ. You're done for. Yeah, now I'm back on CJ's side. I'm not sure that guy's yeah, right. <laughs> Now I'm on CJ's side. Oh, no. oh, shit. I got to change my answer. I do. Got to change my answer back to CJ. If it's Mr. Miyagi getting trained up there, I don't know. Hell no. Woof. All right, I gotta. Uh, I, I thought of who I would consider a good-looking man in 1993, Brian Pillman. Uh, Brandon Lee. Ahoy, Captain! Hey, Cap! Thanks for joining us. We got ten questions left. We still got thirty people kicking it with us. We're an hour and a half in. Um, make sure to go to the bathroom, get some snacks. Um, I know Phil is handing out. I know I, I forget what Phil has in his concessions tonight, but definitely hit up Phil if, for all of your uh, goodie needs. Okay, next question comes from the um, the big headed comic journey. Uh, what do you feel is the shittiest channel in the comic community? Ah, we all know you're joking, and it's not mine. Really, what is the shittiest channel? Uh, I don't know if it's the shittiest, but it's the one I hate the most, and I can't say it out loud because he'll try and fight me. He'll put me He'll put me on blast on some stupid YouTube channel, and then he'll be like, you come down here, I'll pay for your plane ticket, and I'll kick your ass. <laughs> So that can, guy. can you tell me? Can you tell me backstage, like after we're done here? That that probably should have just given it away right there. To be honest, <laughs> I, I'm curious because I don't know if I know this channel. Yeah, you do. Everybody knows this channel. All right. Yeah, definitely tell me backstage. I don't want to. I don't want to start guessing. 
Yeah, tell me backstage, and then I'll buy you a plane ticket so you come here and you fight me. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking about me, aren't you? Yeah, fuck you too. All right, so that sounds familiar. Ooh. Laugh out loud. So, so uh, Biggie knows who it is. Uh, what is up, Joe? Joe sent in an at home as well. He's been sending in weekly at homes. He's become a, a regular. Over here on in betweeners, or be, between the lines, to become a, a, a regular in betweener. A regular yeah. in betweener, eh? Yeah, that's right, eh? You got a name for your for your guests? That's very nice. In betweeners. In betweeners. Uh, it's it's for a whole chat and everybody that sends in at homes. Wow. You call them in betweeners, eh? Yeah, they, they're sexy. Sexy in-betweeners. Sexy in-betweeners with the A at the end because I'm Canadian, eh? That's right, yes, bud. Sir. Hey, buddy. Buddy. You know it, bud. <laughs> That's your buddy guy. Oh, guy. But your don't friend, even, buddy. Don't guy. Don't even fuck around, guy. <laughs> uh, Queen Strike. What is the best way to neuter Kevin Smith in retaliation to destroying He-Man? Kick his oh brother, kick his brother in the chin. Damn. His brother. Yeah, because his dick will be in his brother's mouth. See how Damn. that works. <laughs> Man. I know. I, I bet Travis loved that he had today's show on uh, his channel for Kevin Smith. I know, right? Kevin Smith is never coming on your channel. I mean, I, I'm, I'm like looking around. I have a Kevin Smith card signed by him. I have a uh, a lunchbox of clerks signed by Kevin Smith and Jason Mewes. Um, yeah, I have, I have a couple of things signed by Kevin Smith. In, uh, I'm a fan. I'm really sorry that I broke your, your Kevin no, Smith. No, no. will never come on no, your I, show. I, it's like, I've I've heard it all. It doesn't still doesn't deter me away from him. No, and you know what? It shouldn't. Just because I hate somebody doesn't mean fucking anyone else does. I don't like Kevin Smith. It's a fact. Everyone does exactly. it. 100%. What's next? I, I don't, what's next? Tell me what's next here. Um, would uh, what's the matter? Would do you prefer? Do you prefer the team nerd, the term nerd, geek, dweeb, spaz, or dork as a pronoun for community members? Uh, I don't know. Probably nerd. I don't mind nerd. I don't. Uh... You know, I call myself a big loser when I'm talking about it. Um, like, I've told my friends that aren't nerds. I'm like, yeah, you can go vote for me as the, you know, biggest loser with the nicest hair in the comic community if you want. So I sort of call myself a loser, <laughs> but it's nothing personal. I just think that uh, we, it, before it was cool, it was not considered a great thing <laughs> to know anything about comic books. That's true. Being a nerd wasn't cool. Being a nerd was not the coolest thing you could do with your life. Mm -hmm. That is true. I hear more people called nerds and geeks. I don't like dork. Uh, I haven't heard like that in a while. Dork's just mean. Um, I think, like, dweeb, dweeb and spaz. And like, yeah, yeah, spaz. I've never heard like anybody like, like you dweeb. Like, I haven't yeah. heard that since the 90s. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dweeb just seems weird. To call somebody um, for liking comic books. I, I feel like you're the dweeb by using that word. No, <laughs> <laughs> what a spaz. What a fucking spaz. <laughs> you got to put an oid at the end of that. Revenge what is up, comic cap collectibles? What is up, my friend? And mm -hmm. Vogs, yes, I did get your at home. Excellent. We still got 30 people kicking with us. Thank you so much. Truly appreciate everyone hanging out with us. And if you're watching the Rewind, thank you so much for hanging out with us, goons, right before halloween -y. Yeah, man. It is definitely oh, nice. It's pretty awesome. All right. Next question comes from Vogs. If you can have uh, an actor play you in a movie, who would you play? Who would you get to play you? Well, that's not too difficult. Johnny Depp would probably play me. It's pretty there's not a lot of people that you know 
look like me in Hollywood. So I guess I'd have to go with Johnny. Yeah, same for me. No, yeah, you're, <laughs> you're Johnny. Nice. nice. I'm just kidding. I have to, I see yeah. it. I see it. Um, we'll, we'll all get Johnny Johnny Depp. It just comes in. It's like, so who am I playing? Well, you're playing this guy named Bleaker. You're also <laughs> playing TM. You're also playing Geek Out with Roscoe. We all see got Johnny? Nice. Yeah, we all got Johnny. Nice. You just see him like <laughs> in different costumes, in a big suit too. Moobs. No, I, I, I want um, Sean William Scott to play me. I think that would be a good one for you, actually. Yeah, it's not a bad one. Yeah, I can not see a bad that one. Like, the the movie version of me is in better shape, of course. But, come on. James Franco? Who the heck is Diet Milk? <laughs> it's just some James Franco. Pretty sure James Franco's done. He's not allowed to yeah. in Hollywood anymore. I like <laughs> Diet Milk, though. Who's Diet Milk? I love the name. That's yeah. great. Thank you for joining us, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I don't think... Yeah, I don't think James Franco's doing much. Brad Pitt. Oh, oh thanks, Biggie. Biggie said Brad Pitt for me. All right. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, right. This this, this definitely would make sense. I do like Vogue's choice for who would get to play me. <laughs> Seth Green. Oh, that's not a bad one. I, I, yeah, I don't know. I sort of feel like Seth Green might be a Roscoe choice. No, that's no that Seth oh, Green. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm thinking of the other Green, uh, the other Seth Rogan. Seth Rogen, yeah, yeah. I would, yeah. Um, I would probably be uh, Fat Kevin Smith. Fat Kevin Smith. <laughs> that would play me. I could see it. Yeah. I mean, I was trying to think of anyone else. Like, uh, uh, no, not really. No. Me, I'd play myself in the movie. <laughs> no. Uh, how about how about how about Kevin Kevin James with a beard? There you go, Kevin James. Again, going back to Kevin James. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to kevin james again kevin james <laughs> shout out tom hiddleston is bleaker tom Ooh. all right all right cory feldman yeah can we can we just ask why the fuck is Corey Feldman playing Riot Fest? What the fuck is that all about? <laughs> Fucking terrible. There's a there's a YouTuber, um, Christian Harloff, who his like stretch goal for like if he gets so many uh, people in the Patreon, uh, they're going to go to a Corey Feldman concert. Um, I don't know why you ever would, but I guess that's fine. All right, next question. I'm not sure what it means, but we'll we'll ask it anyway. Why are moose fun? They're not fun. They're a really dangerous animal. Don't go near a moose. They'll fuck they're, you up. Yeah, they're jerks. Yeah. yeah, go ask Joe Rogan. He'll tell you all about moose. See, and, and like even like your your car is gonna get totaled if you if you hit a deer, but you're looking at death if you hit a moose. They're like hitting a rock. Now just get mad and just tear open your door. Eat your boxers. What? <laughs> I don't know what kind of moose you're dealing with over there, TM. I know what a moose walks in the little house. It, it, it was Elliot it's Moose. Like they let him up in my, my boxers. <laughs> Elliot Moose got out on the loose, man. Tell me on the doll where it touched you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I just watched the movie Becky with Kevin James as a bearded Nazi. Oh shit! <laughs> Moose are like hippos. Yeah, it's not actually. Yeah, they're, they're not. They're they're mean. They're a mean animal. That's for sure. Are they safer than alligators? Yes. I. Well, it depends. Not if you're fucking standing next to a moose. It's not. Yeah, but they're very. They like. They're more out further into Yeah, they're the pretty wild. docile. Like they're more they're not meat eaters, so yeah, it should be safer. Yeah. Just, and like it, it's free. only it's only like when you're like on like the Trans Canada Highway. And yeah. that like you're 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 so, like Trans Canada Highway is like sometimes like it, all your you're on like a main strip 
surrounded by wooded areas um mm -hmm. and then they'll like be crossing over and that's that's where you're going to see them the most you never see them like in a town you never like be walking down the street and be like look there's a lady getting eaten by an alligator right there <laughs> Um, yeah, that's true. So, no, nobody's dog is getting picked off by alligators, Roscoe. Well, all right. Yeah. They all can't be a cool place to live, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> See, and there is there is good moose like Bullwinkle. Oh yeah, Bullwinkle's a hell of a moose. Right, right, right. Quebec. The Vogs, okay. I don't, I don't, yeah, that, that's it. The Vogs, all right. Moving on, yes. moving on. I'm getting some a lot of at homes in, I'm getting a lot in right now. Uh, Qbert, would you lead a revolution in Kanadistan? In Kanadistan? Yeah, I could lead I could lead a revolution. I am Reverend Bleaker after all. I think I could do that. You know, we're all born to die, baby. Might as well some of us just live faster than others, that's all. Oh, Roscoe, you're gonna like this. David Harbour is Roscoe. Oh, hey, all right. I'll take nice. it. Nice. Who said that? Big V McFly. Nice. Appreciate you, Big V. I like that one. That's a good one. I'll TM take it. is Ted Lasso. All right. Hmm. Hmm. All right. So two last questions, two important questions here. Uh, Dr. Von Hoot wants to know your first concert, your worst concert, and your best concert. First concert was Pink Flow. Uh, like I done first big concert was pink floyd division bell um toronto uh my first concert my worst concert was huh have i had a worse concert i've had concerts i don't really remember very well i don't know if i would consider them my worst <laughs> concerts <laughs> uh worst concert worst concert I don't really buy tickets to concerts that I don't want to see. So uh, Rob Zombie was really terrible the last time I saw Rob Zombie, which was recently. Hmm. Um, he sort of phoned it in. I love Rob Zombie. I think he's great. I fucking absolutely dig the guy. But he just sort of sucked in concert that time. I've seen him a few times. He's not always that bad, but he sort of phoned in that concert. So that was probably my least favorite part of the concert. But thankfully, Ministry made up for it. And so did Alice Cooper. So. You know, and uh, so what's that worst and best concert? Um, I don't know, I've been to some really fucking awesome concerts, dude. So I don't know. Uh, the boss was really good. The guy played for like four or five hours. Um, I touched him. He was real sweaty. Uh, what? Yeah. Yeah. I touched the boss. He was real sweaty. I touched him and he was really sweaty. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I grabbed his arm and it, I slipped right off him. <laughs> Because he's fucking sweaty as fuck. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> fucking sweaty. Um, yeah, he played for four hours and he brought up people on stage. He uh, sang songs of signs that were being shown in the audience. He uh, danced with fucking people's wives. He danced with girls for their fucking birthdays. That guy knows how to put on a concert. Not my favorite genre of music, but probably the best concert I've ever seen somebody put put on. That's Marilyn awesome. Man Marilyn Manson puts on the best visual concert, in my opinion. Hmm. Nice. Yeah. Good answer. The last question of the night, because Roscoe said it was all right. Uh, do you still need Thundercats number one first print? Laugh out loud. Fuck you, Papa Wheelie. Mm -hmm. oh did i say that out loud did i out loud oh i see sorry yes i still need the goddamn book god damn it <laughs> yeah i've got the second print i've got the third print i probably have a fucking fifth print but i do not have a first print at the moment we'll get there we'll get there 
And that is all of the questions of Ooh. the night, but that's only one portion of the show. Of course, I just want to say thank you to everybody that took the time to ask some questions, some funny, some serious, some great, um, and some just that comic journey has asked. Um, so thank you so much for everybody that asked questions. You guys make the show great, and your questions are always enjoyable each and every week. But it is now time for Roscoe's favorite portion of the show. And Roscoe, do you hear that sound, man? Do you hear it? It's kind of getting closer. I think I do hear it. Yeah, I definitely. Yeah, I hear that. Wait, let me move my wig a little bit here. Is that the sound of the man working on the chain gang? No, oh. no, no, nope, no, 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 it's not that sound. I think, is that Glenn it's farting? Good. No, I, no, not Glenn. No, farting. no, no, we've heard that. It's very violent. Is it, is it a uh, comic journey complaining about something? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's all <laughs> yeah. No, I think it's, uh, oh, now time I for this or that. I Woof. All right, cool. All right, brother. My man, Big Bleak. Are you yeah, ready? I am or ready, man. Or Just that? bat me up. All right, brother. Uh, hoodie or jacket? Hoodie. Toilet paper, over or under? Over. Rock and roll or hip hop? Rock and roll. You like waffles or do you like pancakes? Um... I prefer waffles, but I can afford pancakes. <laughs> uh, do, you, uh, do you rather be the driver or the passenger? Uh, I don't drive, so I guess passenger. Passenger's all right. Okay. Muffins or donuts? Muffins. Lazy boy recliner or an outdoor hammock? Oh, outdoor hammock all the way, bro. Um. Would you rather be a villain against Iron Man or Batman? Hmm. I think Batman. I think I could fuck Batman up pretty easy. Okay. Chinese food or Italian food? That's very difficult, but I'm going to go Italian food. Chinese is a treat food. Like, it's just something you order, like, once or twice a year. But Italian is a staple, man. Italian is good shit. Nice. Uh, what are you better at? Ping pong or beer pong? Um good at both actually <laughs> yeah it's surprisingly enough it's i played a lot of ping pong in my life uh would you rather go fishing or would you rather stay home and play video games um, depends on the day but i'm more of a homebody these days catch me a couple years back probably would have said fishing but nowadays i'd rather just stay home and play video games okay um easter peeps or candy corn that's disgusting. Dude, nobody <laughs> wants nobody wants candy corn. All right, so then Easter peeps. That's what it has to be. <laughs> um, better sidekick or what, what sidekick would you rather be, Robin to Batman or Chewie to Han Solo? Uh, I'd probably rather be Chewie to Han Solo. He seems like he's got more power than Robin does. Like okay. you know, if Han Solo really did something, Chewie just kick his ass, and then that would be it. So. You know, Chewie's got a little more control over the situation. Okay. Um, who are you joining? NWO or DX? NWO, baby. Beer or wine? Mm, I'm not supposed to drink wine. It makes me surly, but I really like it. So I'm going to go with wine. Okay. Who would you rather go on a date with, Dazzler or Rogue? Well, I got to say Dazzler because... I want to bang Rogue, and she'd you'd try to do that, and then you'd die. So I'm going to have to say Dazzler on this one. All right. <laughs> Rogue's a dangerous proposition. Uh, sweet or savory? Sweet. Uh, card game or board game? Board game. I could play some board games. Ninjas or pirates? Pirates. Movie or TV series? Lately, TV series. Okay. Silver or gold? Silver. If you could have a, um, all right, with the whole comic book community, uh, what would you rather be have a snowball fight or a water balloon fight? A water balloon fight. 
Um, uh, let's see, chocolate or vanilla? Uh, vanilla. Hairy like beast or made out of rocks like thing? Hmm. That's a good one. I think probably made out of rocks like thing. I don't really like, you know, excessive body hair. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mountains or ocean? Oh, mountains. Coke or Pepsi? Coke. Um, would you rather join the X-Men or the Avengers? X-Men. Early bird or night owl? I guess I'm a bit of both. I wake up really early and I stay up really late. So, <laughs> so I never sleep. Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> insomniac. We're in insomniac. Yeah, it's true, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, cake or pie? Uh, cake. Beach or pool? Pool. Would you uh, rather be a henchman to Two Face or a henchman for Kingpin? Uh, probably Two Face. Kingpin will fuck you up if you don't know what's coming. Okay. Um, steak or lobster? Steak. Would you rather be able to speak with all animals or any human language on Earth? Uh, any human language on Earth. Uh, breakfast food or dessert? Breakfast food. Um, summer or fall? Summer. I do like fall, but summer is my shit. What's your go-to, air guitar or air drums? Uh, air guitar. Air guitar is my go-to. Okay. I was curious about that one. Um, X-Force or West Coast Avengers? Uh, well, ugh. ugh. Um, I guess X Force. Pizza or ice cream? Pizza. Uh, fruits or vegetables? Fruits. Rock climbing or bungee jumping? Um, rock climbing. Even though I think they're both insane. Who the fuck jumps off a thing with a fucking elastic attached to their goddamn ankle? <laughs> it's insanity. Deep sea diving or skydiving? Again, why would I jump out of a perfectly good airplane? This doesn't seem like... How about we just hang out on the ocean? Why do we have to dive down into it? It's fine without being in it. You can look at it from afar and be cool on the land. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> vampires or werewolves? Oh, that's hard. I think uh, well, I'd rather be a vampire. Okay. Uh, smell like Swamp Thing or look like Toxic Avenger? I think smell like Swamp Thing. I feel like that'd be fine. He's got some, you know, maybe he's got some nice flowers growing on him that day. Okay. Yeah. Um, would you rather be stuck in a cage with a lion or a pool with a shark? Fuck. I'm going to have to go lion. The shark's way too scary. Nice. Uh, but then lion's really scary too. You know what? I'm going to change my answer to a shark because, I don't know, I think something about poking a shark in the eye. Hmm. It goes away. So I'm going to change it to a shark. I feel like maybe I could defend against a shark better than a lion. A lion will fuck you up. It is true. But yeah, I'm more I mean, scared. But I'm more scared of a shark. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, that one's a tough one. I don't know either. Um, <laughs> I just ask him. I don't have to answer. Him. Yeah, that's um, fair. <laughs> uh, tattoos, yes or no? Yes, I love tattoos. I've got tons. Um, movie at home or a drive-in theater? I, I I love drive-in theaters, bro. The one the one that, that was near me just closed down, which really sucks. So, but I guess movies at home, um, it's nice. You can you know go to the bathroom, you get all the snacks you need, all that shit. Okay, and then um, my last question for you, I think somebody already asked it, but um, Jason um, or Michael, who who do you like more? Uh, who do I like more? Uh, yeah. Oh, I don't know. Probably Michael Myers I like more, but Jason would win that fight, even okay. though I like Michael Myers more. Nice. All right. Well, appreciate you, Bleak. Thank you so much, man. I think Travis is still saving um, a bunch of those at-home editions. Oh, yeah. He probably got a ton. I handed, I sent in a bunch, actually. <laughs> oh, so I, I, I didn't think, okay, so like I'm not a big artist, right? So I don't, I don't draw. I've drawn a couple of things since I was about 12 years old. And I, when I, when I gave my 
what the whole stream's about horror icons i'm like i don't fucking know if i can draw a horror icon so <laughs> i started practicing drawing and uh apparently i can draw i can draw mm-hmm. i'm not an artist but i can draw hey, i think it's awesome but again yeah. bleak i appreciate you bro thanks for oh, doing thanks, uh bro. this or that man it's my pleasure oh, man i appreciate it Nice. <laughs> there he is. He was probably saving like I three. Push it. It, I I uh um, you're, you're good, man. Did yeah, you save I, a whole I bunch? at the same time. Um I'm gonna have to save more now because uh almost it's done. Right. Katie's a... Kate, Katie's almost done and uh Big B McFly um also sent me a new one. All right, I got a question I want to ask anyway, so sure, buddy. Um, all right. Uh, what is a, um, what is one of your favorite quotes? My, one of my favorite quotes, uh, yeah, like would, inspirational, like something, you know, something that you've, I would cross oceans of time to find you is one of my favorite quotes. Excellent. Dracula. Um, Let's see. I got a bunch of questions. All right, here you go, bro. If you were granted three wishes, mm. what would your three wishes be? And you can't, of course, you know, ask for more wishes or. Uh, and you can't ask for someone to die. You can't ask for more wishes, and you can't ask right. to fall in love. Right? Those are exactly. the those are the things you can't ask for. Exactly. Uh, but on here, you can. No, I'm just kidding. No, <laughs> <laughs> no I'm just kidding. <laughs> Um, I would, my first wish would be six more genie lamps. Oh, genies in them. Um, Hmm. but would that fall into more? I'm not asking for more wishes, but I'm just asking for more genies. More lamps. Asking for more genies. Yeah, that's all I'm asking for here. All right, all right, sneaky snake. Yeah, sneaky peep, sneaky peep. I'd ask for a shit ton of money. And uh, a huge, uh, like a donger down to my knee, probably. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, so then, yeah, yeah. But only mm. for only for like forty five minutes. And oh. the forty, I get to choose the forty five minutes where I get to use the big donger like that. I just want someone oh. to do this once. I just want oh. you know the the face you like just oh want my that fucking reaction. god. You should take yeah. it out at like a party. Yeah, yeah. Take it out. Like, boom. Yeah. <laughs> Have people no, would. That, that, that'd be like the only time that I would be like, you know, I'm gonna whip it out just this one time. That's all. That's all. No, all genie wishes. Oh, what grant wishes? Shut up. Not all word. genies grant <laughs> wishes. All right, Nauman. How does Nauman know this? Yeah, how does Nauman know this? Nauman, like you're the... hanging out with the wrong genies, dude. Yeah, Get some new like, genies. Jimmy that I came across, he he threw sand in my face. That wasn't a lamp you were rubbing. Buddy. See what, what Nauman's <laughs> actually trying to tell us is he let out a bad genie, and that genie is Comic Journey. Oh, oh that's geez. fair. That's fair. Comic Genie. Look at that. This is crazy. Just... All right. That's um a, that's a that's a cup yeah, that's they terrible. give you. That's terrible. <laughs> Um, if money was n- no object, what is the first thing that you'd buy, bro? Uh, I'd buy a, I'd buy a building that I could have a comic shop in. I know, weird, right? I'd buy a place to work at, but that's what that's I would a, do. But hey, to be honest with you, that's a dope job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, what it? What was your least favorite Halloween costume? My least favorite Halloween costume. I, yeah, I don't like really... your favorite, and you'll be like the crow. Uh, I don't have a least favorite Halloween costume. My favorite Halloween costume is probably not the crow, to be honest. My my personal that I do is the crow because it's easy, and I I just have been doing it for so long. But there's some amazing costumes, man. I wanted to be. Um, I wanted to put a big sign on my neck and go out as a penis and say I was Halloweeny. So that would have been great. Yeah. Um, <laughs> That's, that would have been great. What? I'm Halloweeny. Um, <laughs> yeah, you are. Uh, right? You know, there's, <laughs> there's some good costumes, man. I don't know. 
I don't mm. think there's any bad costume, really. Uh, there's some poor taste costumes. Like, don't go out as Hitler. Probably not a great idea. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's that. not like a, a good yeah. idea at all. Not a good idea. Um, I just spilled all over myself. Yeah, that's because of the Hitler thing. I know. Um, I got a question for you now. What are your, um, for that happy Halloween, uh, sugar skulls. Sugar skulls. Thank you show so much for hanging out with us. Um, what are your top three favorite horror comics? Ooh, favorite horror comics. Well, it would have to be tales from the crypt by far is my number one favorite horror comic. Uh, uh, there's a, a one that I got called After Dark that's really awesome, and uh, I really enjoy the um, like 20 cent DC horror stuff from the 70s, man. Oh, 70s, a mystery. 80s. Yeah, oh man, no, not like the DC horror stuff, like uh, oh. Vault of Mystery oh, and evil. like Chamber of, yeah, like a Vault of Evil, yeah, shit like that. I just like, think. Okay. That. Poke and Joe, how you doing, bro? I like, um, you know, I haven't read enough of it, but I the ones that I've read, I've actually thought were creep. Um, is Ice Cream Man? Oh, Ice Cream Man was. Oh, and I do have to say, Hellraiser is a really, really, really good comic book series. Just FYI, if you like Hellraiser, it's it's way better in comics than it is in movies. Travis, who are we waiting for now? Katie, waiting for the K pop. Seen that son of a bee sting, I tell you. No. <laughs> I was curious. Did Drax send in one? No. Fucking Drax. Really he was disappointed. On the show earlier. I know. So disappointed. And I didn't all do the ones that Bleaker sent me, you can show those off when after. I want to see them all tonight. What's up? Uh Bleaker sent me like Bleaker did? Four, four, yeah. We'll get we'll get to showing off his after we show the at homes. Oh yeah, 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 man. Show the peoples. Show the peoples. Show the peoples. There's K pop laughing her ass off over here. I know. It's she should beer. be brawling her ass off. <laughs> you guys mind if I go grab a quick drag of a cigarette? You go ahead. I will be right back. I won't take oh. very long at all. I love we're you. We're gonna we're gonna promote um the comic book community awards. Woo! Guess who's got the best hair? This motherfucker. Yeah, it be uh, it's actually, it I was actually shifting down to it right here. We're gonna... This is best hair. Check it. Check it. So, yeah. So, we're honored to be part of the best collaborative project or event for the CBC Awards. We're, we made it to the finalists, the top five. We're, we have some heavy eaters in that. Um, if you do love this show and you think that we do uh, deserve this, please go vote. Or if you think that somebody else deserves it, vote for them. We're not telling you who to vote for. We're just telling you to go vote. Vote for something better than uh, something that's like, ah, it's like ah, we have to go vote for something again. This is something fun, and it's fun each year of like what Brian LCS does. Um, it's a great Absolutely. time, so definitely check it out at the cbcawards.org. Uh, what do you have to say about it, Roscoe, while I save Katie's photo? Uh, I just want to say a huge thank you, to be honest with you. I just I want to say thank you to everyone who, again, nominated us and nominated us enough for us to become a finalist. And, um, again, to, to just recognize our show. Um, I know we've been doing – or, you know, Between the Lines has been going on um, – but for the last year, we've been kind of going steady, and it's been going really well. I know we miss Chris, Cardboard Crazies. Um, but, again, this has been uh, – we've been doing really good. And, again, we appreciate everyone in the chat. We truly appreciate everyone that um, that asks questions. We appreciate everyone that sends at-home editions. I mean, we love when you guys send at-home editions. You know, we like to have you guys involved as much as we are involved with the show. Um, because, again, like we couldn't do the show without any of you guys. We truly appreciate it. Again, just to be recognized this year. Um, and if we don't get it this year, look out. Because you know what? We'll be back next year. <laughs> so, uh, again, I just want to say thank you, everyone. You've been amazing. Um, truly appreciate everyone that's been hanging out with us in the chat. We've got 25 people still hanging out strong. 
Um, if you're watching the rewind and you're wondering why I'm wearing a wig, um, no, I'm just kidding. I'm Tina. No, <laughs> but uh, I just want to say thank you all. You've been amazing. Uh, truly appreciate you hanging out with us and with Bleaker. Um, Bleaker's been great, and uh, I cannot wait to see what everyone has sent us. So, um, yeah, I'm not opening up Instagram again. It takes way too long. Comic journey. The genie. <laughs> Because we're going to get to the at-homes now. Um, we'll just good. come back in the halfway through it as I open this up. I'm going to get these kicking and stuff and get these at-homes up and ready to go. I think. Oh, maybe that's you. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> all right. What do we got? What do we oh, got? Oh, shoot. There he is. We're just talking about how these. I'm going to wear best hair now. Oh yeah, you do, Tina. You got you got this, babe. You got this. <laughs> uh, just kidding. Now we're about right. to show the ad homies. Yeah, let's check these bad boys out. <laughs> just got them open here. Hope everybody had fun with the uh, with the topic. I know it's uh, you know it's pretty on the nose, but it's fun though. All right. I mean, you know. I did mine. I did a crossover, of course. You know, couldn't just do the horror guy. I had to that had to mash cool. him up. <laughs> you know what I mean? All right, we're gonna stop oh. the show. Um, I gotta get journeys, I guess. So yeah, he did, oh, draw. Comic, he did draw for the show. Comic butt weasel. Well, uh, he just sent no. another one in. He already drew, and then he sent another one in and wants me to go I grab know. it. So I, I got to open up my IG, so I'll be back in like 10 minutes. 10 minutes? <laughs> I doubt it's going to be 10 minutes. But. I sent TM a bunch, but I did draw something new for tonight that's just sort of like a little sketch that I started, but I'm really pretty happy with my sketch, to be honest. I'm, I'm pretty happy with what I did, too. You know, it's I think it, you know, it's actually, it's been done before. And I was kind of like, ah, whatever. I don't freaking care. Cause I thought of it. Mm -hmm. And then when I looked it up, I was like, okay, I guess it has been done, but I don't care. I did my own thing and I put it on a comic cover. And well, that's, what's cool about you. I, I have to do references. Like one of the pictures that I have is like a direct reference from YouTube. Um, obviously I didn't trace it or anything like that. I just sort of was like, yeah, that looks cool. I'll draw that. <laughs> But I mean, you know, I need a reference too. you know, like I need to see, you know, like, but I just have to see what I'm like, the two things I'm doing. And then I could just put it together in my own style. You know? Ah, cool. Cool. I'm not there yet. Obviously I'm fresh. I'm a new, new artsy guy. So we'll see what oh, happens. Yeah. It's, it, you know, it's, you know, it takes some time though too, you know, I mean, and, you know, not just drawing, but like, you know, like thinking of, you know, trying to be that, you know, trying to do something different, like, you know, as, as much as I want, I, I did have another idea that I was trying to do and it just wasn't adding up for me. Like it just wasn't going like the, I kept, I drew it once, twice, three on the fourth time. I was like, you know what? I was like, I don't have time. I can't, I can't, you know, like I, this is going to be a longer project than just for I between the lines. I find it crazy that you and journey had the same idea when you did, when oh. we did Katie's, uh, right. That you both did the haircut with Edward Scissor hands chopping off the fucking head. I was like that's what? so so crazy, man. So crazy. Dude, I know. I thought that was so wicked. I was like, I saw it because you know, we watched the people send at home stuff, and I saw him send that and I went, No freaking way. No way that journey just uh, do the same thing I freaking did. No, maybe he is a genie. Who knows? Who knows? It's true. Got some special power. Yeah. All right, cool. We are definitely going to get some cool at-homes. I'm definitely pumped. Again, thank you all so much for your at-home additions. Um, happy Halloweener. Um, we hope you have a, a safe day tomorrow if you go out or do anything. Um, just, you know, just have fun. Don't eat any weird apples. Don't eat candy with razor blades in it, yeah. even though they taste sometimes the best. <laughs> 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 all right you guys ready for some at home additions to show off journey's one that he just sent in right now awesome, thank you so much for sending in at home additions everybody from around the world dudes 
around the world. Around the you guys world. are special. Not that kind of special, but it's special. This one comes from Comic Journey. Whoa! Oh. Fuck it, yeah. man. Journey, that's fucking awesome, dude. That's wicked, man. I, I think is I think the first one he sent is better. Is that real blood? <laughs> yeah, I think that I think he did use real blood. He did message me and say he um, used his dick blood. Um, oh, great! Jesus, what the hell! Thank you, Comic Journey, for sending a second one in. We do appreciate these at home drawings, but we do appreciate when you. I could get them all at once instead of opening up IG again and yeah, pausing the show. <laughs> but we do appreciate you sending in another one. This one comes from Manny the Hobgoblin Collector. Yeah, she yeah. named this movie. Uh huh. That is the that's a, what's that? Not Deliverance. Uh, what's the one with the uh, misery? Yeah, misery. misery. Yeah. That's the one. That's the one with that's Kathy a, Bates. That's awesome, Manny. I love it. That is awesome. Way to way to go with that one. Yes, okay. never, that's awesome. It was so yeah. great that Bleaker was like, I'm out. I left. Yeah, I go. <laughs> uh, he'll be back. He'll be back. Oh, I know. I'm just uh, well, that while is we so wait cool, for man. him. Whoa. This one, yeah, this one comes from Joe. Not Pokan Joe, but Joe 47771. Joe, you know this that, is Joe. rad, bro. Very Let's cool. uh it says happy Halloween, Joe 47771. Look at that detail on the fingers here. Thank you, yeah, man. That's dope, bro. What do you got? Oh, Joe. Joe did that. That's awesome, Joe. Yeah, Joe. Yeah, right. Joe's been drawing every week, too, man. Yeah. To get him on the show. That's really great. Definitely. Really great. Definitely. Yeah, that's dope, bro. I like uh, it. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing, I'm guessing he sent you. What he drew tonight, Bleaker, did he? He did, yes. He sent me that uh, yesterday, actually. Nice. All Talk right, this crazy. one, this is just one uh, of the ones that Big V uh, sent in. He's doing a cover uh, of the, and it looks amazing. A little dragon, a little werewolf. werewolf. Like, yeah, sketch oh, cover bro, here. I That's love, freaking fantastic, love, love man. This. Yeah, I Bigby, Bigby knows what he's doing, eh? Jesus Christ, man. Look at the hair on the, Bigby, on the werewolf. How big is that uh, piece of paper that you drew on, Bigby? Is that, like, small or big? Like, can you give us a size on that? Dude, that is wicked, brother. That's I awesome. love that. Yeah. Big fan. Such dope piece. Look at this. Oh, oh yeah, yes, baby! Is that... Can I can I guess? Is that Cali Comics? No, this is not Cali Comics. Interesting. Oh. That's really good. I love that piece. That's a great yeah, piece. Yeah, that's cool. Is it uh can you can you uh scroll in just a tad? <laughs> oh, is it yeah, looks like it looks like on it is Mrs. Von Hoot. Yeah. Yes, oh, yes, it is. Yeah, this is dope. Look at that. That's, That's really awesome. That's I love great. these. These are great. Yeah, that's really All right. Good. Legend said I love Spike. <laughs> okay. I'm, oh. oh. This is uh I love everybody is sending in some, but like this is just amazing. Because I mean I, I love Swamp Thing. I'm I'm pumped for Swamp Thing. That's uh, fucking the amazing. Screen. Yeah, that this is, is really this dope. is great. Uh, this comes from that? this comes from Norn Rad, man. Oh, yes, shit, Norn, buddy. Oh, man. Holy Ooh. smokes, bro, dude, that's wicked. Like, I, I I know Roscoe's more of a Man Thing uh, fan. I'm more of a Swamp Thing fan. I love Swamp Thing. I love the Parliaments. Uh, Swamp Thing and Animal Man together is just the best because you have the the avatar for the green and the avatar for the red together. And I do think that animal man is going to show up in swamp things movie or going this to come down really the line good. of them together. Uh, but so even, even the show, even the show that came out, uh, the law, the, the show that only lasted like one, uh, one season because of something was signed wrong. 
that season was fantastic. You guys got to go check out Swamp Thing. Uh, that was a fantastic season. Dude, a lot of people said it was a great man. show. A lot of people said it was a great show. Yeah, I want to check it, it out. But I like that that's a skeleton in his hands, too. That's dope. Yeah, like indicating that that's, that's his body. Right? That's so dope. That's amazing, man. It really is amazing. It's yeah, that's like, fantastic. Like phenomenal. All right, I'm going to quit drawing now. Dude, <laughs> that's fucking awesome, man. Uh, this one. Oh, this one great. I, like, I like. I like this one too. Callie, my man. Is that Callie? Yeah, I yeah. love that. You definitely oh, love man. this. You know who? You know who's gonna love that? My my mom, Mama Roscoe, is a big Frankenstein fan. Fan. She's gonna love that. That's rad. Yeah. I love that. Is, that that is dope, Callie. That's Callie, fantastic. you're real good, man. Okay. He did send something else in that he Rising did not do, but Roscoe did. Oh, oh. <laughs> the Roscoe did that? You did that, Roscoe? Yeah, I did That's that. Fucking, yeah. You did that a really fucking amazing job on that, dude. Thanks, brother. Yeah, that yeah, was uh, pretty fucking cool. I've seen it, don't get me wrong, but I didn't know you did that. That's fucking awesome. Yep, uh, if you look at the top left, you'll see my signature up there. I signed it. Up hey, in the... hey, didn't didn't we have an argument earlier today about where to sign it? Why did you sign it down below, you jerk? Because I couldn't down below, you jerk. Look at all the stuff that's going on down there. <laughs> at least I didn't sign right next to the face, you dingus. Um, <laughs> so, go, but if you go up, uh, you know, do you know this is an homage, right? Yes. So yeah. Uh, he said he wanted this. Uh, he said, "Can you can you make Callie's head uh, severed <laughs> and make it look <laughs> like me holding it?" And I was like, "All right." So I said, "How about we do the homage to this?" And he said, "Okay, great." And I was like, <coughs> "I'll, I'll make amazing. sure I put his favorite uh, New Mutants 3.0 in his hand down there on the ground." Amazing. But yeah, that was that was a lot of fun. That was really fun. You yeah, did good detail on that on that on that slab down there. That's a slab too. That's not just as I know, that's right? Amazing. <laughs> I know. And then I gave him jean shorts too, just because uh, I gave him jorts, just because I wanted to go do that. I don't know if he wears oh, them, yeah. but <laughs> you're doing the whole. Uh, we all know who wears jorts. Yeah. yeah, but anyway, so yeah, wait till you see me and uh, this was something that again me and. Um, my man, Dustin, two brothers, comics, comic book, chiropractor, whatever you want to call him, unkind. Um, this is one thing that we did. We have another thing that's going to be cooking up, too. So I'm excited for it. Very cool, man. Very cool. So. Right. Yeah, was very oh, yeah. Cool. Hey. Versus Jason. Comes hey. in from 23 March. Yes. Awesome. Oh, I impressive. like this. I like that. Eddie a lot. versus oh. Jason, eh? Very so cool. There wasn't a second one. Still gotta get 23 months on the show, man. I think so. Look at that. You definitely gotta get them on the show. Absolutely. Love how it's raining. Ross, what would you when you look at other people's art? Ugh. Do you think, okay, you think you're a good artist? I don't think I'm a good artist. So I look at other people's art, I'm like, man, fucking, these guys are amazing. I suck. Do you do all or do all? Do you think that too? K-pop says she does. Fucking everybody says they do. Do you think that about my own artwork? Yeah, yeah. What do you think about um, your own artwork? I mean, sometimes, yeah. Sometimes I, you know, I don't like what I do. Yeah. But a lot of times, if I do my own thing, like you know, if I'm not like in a real structured, you know, thing, and if I could just do whatever I want to, I'm a lot better. But if you're telling me, hey, you need to do this. A, B, C, D to complete this. I'm right. like, oh shit, that's not my own thing. And you know, okay, so, okay. But to be honest with you, yeah, you're your own worst critic, a thousand yeah. percent. All right. So, your yeah. art's not shit, Callie. Your art's awesome, dude. Yeah, I don't know what Callie's talking about. He's crazy. Everyone's yeah. everyone's always like, no, it's not that great. But it's like, come on, <laughs> this is this, this is good stuff. You know, yeah, and this man, is you right. Everybody tonight is drawing something amazing. Yeah. What is up, chaos in comics? What up, chaos? All right, I'm going back to the page here. All right, next one up. It's from Brother Joe. Oh, 
king of the monsters. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Take him down, brother Joe. Fuck Godzilla. yeah, man. Go, 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 Godzilla. <laughs> That's awesome. I don't know the way that it's the way that it's pointed to. I can just be like, you know, this is a crossover. This is this is Reptar being Godzilla. Oh, so the, the, like the, the colored green that he used. I'm just <laughs> like, you know, that's Reptar. I can believe whatever I want it to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's definitely Good job, brother Joe. It's definitely the king of the market. Appreciate you, brother Joe. Thank you, bro. Ah, no, that was terrible. Uh, I'm gonna move on. Okay. All right. So this is this Whoa. is a portrait. Of, this is like this is what I mean. I like this one better than the the second one. Comic Journey sent in. Uh, I like this one better. Um, this is from Comic Journey. He says this is uh, me and Roscoe. <laughs> oh, that's me. <laughs> who's yeah. who's uh who's Frank and Chick? Are you ready to do between the lines? <laughs> okay, well, I guess Roscoe just said that. I don't know, man. Because, like, whoever that is. Definitely looks like definitely looks like TM. Yeah, I guess that's more oh. Charles. Yeah. yeah, I guess. I don't have that going. chin. Oh. Well, my hand hurts. <laughs> it, it, it does. <laughs> it, it does. <laughs> it does. It, it does have your crabbit? eyes, man. My hand it does hurts. Have your Where's eyes? my single tear? Where's my single tear coming down? <laughs> oh shit! I like that. That's a good picture, man. That's really good. I can't do it again, Travis. My hand hurts. Shut up and let's go already. <laughs> so Get the out there. Awesome right. Fifteen. Why aren't you backstage? <laughs> Fifteen minutes of show. Get the fuck here, or else. Yeah, exactly. I'm calling your mom. Right. That's what happens. So yeah, happen. every week. Every damn week. That's really good, man. I I like his other one too. So I he's. I like the stitching, to be honest. Yeah. With the head and the, the head room. stitching yeah. is really cool. The hair is good. Yeah, yeah I like that. I, I just personally like this one even better. Uh, like it, it doesn't even have to do with like I'm in it, like because it's not it's not a compliment that I'm in it. So it's just I'll, I'll just look past that he, he said that. <laughs> But I do like this one a lot. I, I don't know. I just I like the definition and, and that to this face. This face looks awesome. Like he, he put so much work into this face. The scarring here, the piecing missing here. Um, oh, the the shading like, man, really nice. Mm -hmm. He got Roscoe's jawline perfectly and his chin. How would he know? I have a beard. Uh, he's been up he, he's I, I'm guarantee you he rubbed your face. He did, definitely did not. It has your eyes, man. It has your eyes. The only thing, it, 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 thing that's I'm very impressed by this is he got your eyes right, but he did it. He got your eyes right, but he he pictured your eyes looking dead, <laughs> dead and bleak, and he did it perfectly. And this is this is what your eyes would look like if they're dead inside. Dead and bleak, you say? <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Just just no. pure whiteness, no. and, and I have no I have no eyes. They're shown. There's, yeah, <clears throat> fire happening back there. Yeah, it's very good, man. That's good. Mm -hmm. Journey, great job. Yeah, good job, CJ. Oh, guys. I don't know who this came from. He needs a couple of lightsabers. Like, can you imagine the lightsabers for fingers? <laughs> like, like mini little <laughs> lightsabers. That's dope. That is dope. I, you need to like. I'm not even like gonna tell you, Roscoe, because you should get this. You should know his art style by now. Um, brother Joe. <laughs> I no, mean, we, uh, we, we, Bobby. we've already I mean, seen Bobby. brother Joe. Bobby is indeed. I mean, Bobby. This is Bobby's. Yeah. No, I know Bobby. No, this is dope though. I like yeah, it a lot. That's cool. I like the face a lot. That's awesome. Yeah. That's my guy, Freddy. Connor said, "What's with the arms?" <laughs> Never you mind. He draws the way he wants to. I think it looks cool. I mean, uh, Freddy can do whatever he wants. He's a dream. Yeah, pretty much, Freddy yeah. can be whatever he wants to in your nightmares. <laughs> As he said, stated, like with looking at his hand and that with the with the 
the claws and stuff, he says, this is God. Uh, I'm pretty sure if Freddy had those hands, he'd be like, what do you want, bitch? Another hand job? You know? <laughs> what do you want, bitch? <laughs> Great job, Bobby. Great job. Yeah. I, I, I approve of the multiple arms because oh, you get more perfect. shit done. You no, kill a lot cool. more people yeah, that way. It's dope. I dig it. Oh! There we go. <laughs> 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 I already know who did this. I uh, I know who did this. I absolutely know who did. Well, I think I know who did this. I think this is from Nam and the Dramen. I think so too. Yeah, I love how there's only color in that, but it is stating uh, something though that you drank the Kool Aid, man. You drank the Kool Aid. What the hell? Uh yeah, yes. Well, you know, I can't. I think it. I think that this definitely resembles uh, Leaker in every single way. CJ's a buddy, man. I drank the Kool-Aid. It's facts. Yeah, that's dope. But that also, I also, I, I love this, too, because, like, um, it kind of gives you that feel of different different art styles going into this, because you see that with the actual uh, Kool-Aid jug. It's more cartoonish than yeah. than the actual drawing of Bleaker, <laughs> which I like. Do you get, you get what I'm saying? I dig it, man. It's like if Teen that. Titans met Teen Titans Go. <laughs> it's like the yeah. Good job, Nah Man. Nah Man's wicked. The draw man. There's a reason they call you the draw man. And uh, you're a good person, good dude. You're all right. You're all right. I don't believe anything that that Comic Journey said about you. No, oh, that's true. Here we go. Uh, I don't know this. Do you know this, um, Bleaker? Uh, what is it? Grab graboids. Graboids. No. Mike, let us know what this is in the in the live chat right is now. This, is, this, this game. God, actually, oh shit! It is. It is. It is. is the graboids are from Tremors. Yes. It is. Is it? Oh, it yes. says tremors on there. Yeah, that's what people are saying in the chat. But that's what it kind of looked like to me at first. I was like, I'm like, that looks like the pinchers of the mouth of the tremor. Yeah, it's like I, I haven't watched that in so long. It looked like a butterfly around a vaginal opening, really. Oh, <laughs> yeah. well, the jig, half of them look like fucking penises in the second one. I know, I know, I know. No, I'm just kidding, Mike. That's awesome, dude. That's fucking yeah, wicked. That's cool. Thanks Good for job, drawing, Michael. Mike. I love it. Uh, I just called him Michael. That might be an insult. Sorry, Mike. Thanks, evil Michael. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> evil Michael? Yeah, it is weird. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to Evil Comics. I am Evil Michael. Yeah, evil <laughs> Michael. But Michael's pretty regal, though. When you say Michael, it sounds pretty regal. I don't know. It's kinda... Evil Michael. 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 Michael, evil Michael. Oh, that was good. I um, evil Michael. Yeah, he was, was named good. after Michael Myers. Not the good one. Evil Michael. Oh, that was nice. That was nice. I had some oof to it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have fun here. This is good. This is hey. oh, oh, excellent. Doing every character. Jeez, this did them all. Yeah, you know. Yeah. These are oh, these freaking are fantastic. Icons. Floral. My bad. I yeah. didn't know that. Yeah. Shit. I only drew oh, one. Damn it. I, I, yeah. <laughs> I like the I like the ghost face here. Yeah. It's a he did a really good job on the thumb. It's very realistic. It's very human like. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, super thumb, impressed man. with that's the thumb. thumb. I like I'm I'm like it's almost like, popping off the, the nail. Yeah. Yeah. That's really good. You get your three D glasses, guys. That was really good. Guess who yeah. this came from? And I, I'm very, uh, I'm like going to give her a round of applause. I can't. It's not guess. Optimus Prime. I can't guess because no, I already no. know who it Vogue, came from. Vog said, "Hey Roscoe, can you say I am Optimus Prime?" So, I am I, Optimus Prime. I am Optimus Prime. 
Uh, you sound not that's, like Optimus that's really, Prime. Uh, yeah, you that's, sound that was more no, like deep. yeah. That was too deep. I am Optimus Prime. Uh, no, he just he talks like I am Optimus Prime. I am Optimus Prime. <laughs> well, that's that's I don't bad, know. That's the bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, try to say I'm Megatron. Yeah, I am Megatron. See, there you go. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, that works. <laughs> but. I'm so glad that I did book this guy. Uh, he's going to be on Between the Lines in December. Oh. Uh, and this comes from all the way from the UK. It, it comes from Glenn. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, man. Nice. Glenn. I love this one. Bro. Uh, look, look at how much, look at the definition on, on this. Like, you got his muscles. Like, I, I absolutely, I love this piece here. Yeah, very good, man. Very good. Yeah, that's excellent, brother. Good job, Glenn. I like it a lot. Uh, this this comes oh, from Cryo Prime. Um, this is uh, um, it, it comes from an anime. Uh, it's a it's a Helsing type of character. Well, it's fucking it's awesome. Is what it is. That fucking gun is insane. Yeah, man, that's fucking cool. Yeah, I like uh, that. So the, work, the marker work that you did, Cryo. It's fucking face. dope, bro. Oh my god. Yeah, dude. Yeah. That's, that's uh, cool. So the the name of this character is Elicard. Amish Star Scream. That is wicked. <laughs> no, Elicard. The <laughs> Cali Amish Star Scream. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yes. <laughs> oh, oh, because of Roscoe. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> yeah, I, I love this. Uh, Vampire Hunter D. Is that that guy? He's pretty it's fucking. No, awesome. it's, for, it, it's uh, the character's from Helsing. And you, and you just drew that. You just, I'm just gonna draw this fucking amazing thing. Fuck, man, that's awesome. Yeah, Cryo All though, that, man. Yeah, he's uh, he also beast. does like custom custom model kits. He does that too. All right, so he's a he's a he's a super artist. That's fucking wicked, man. Yeah, yeah, it's like he's uh, he's he, he's big into anime and manga, so this is like the art style he prefers. <laughs> Who would hunt the vampires? D. That's fair. Lots of chicks <laughs> I know would hunt the vampires. D. Actually, yeah, the, the, the movies Oddly approved enough. it. Oddly enough. <laughs> But great job, Cryo. And yeah. uh, coming yeah. on in two weeks, Cryo should be our guest. I think. Two weeks? Yes. Cryo is going to be your guest. Jesus. That's amazing, dude. Go All right. Space. This next one comes from Vox. Vox nice. pulling in a fucking ghost face. Heck yeah. Fuck. Actually, I can hear I can hear this picture. And, and uh, Bleaker, <laughs> can, you, uh, can you say this for me? Motherfucking ghost face. Uh, motherfucking ghost face. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. See, that's 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 Thank what this Fox. picture is creamy. Motherfucking Fox, ghost you. face. <laughs> yeah, man, that's awesome. Yeah. Fox, thanks for drawing, buddy. Yeah, appreciate you drawing, brother. Fox awesome. sent me a message tonight. Said he would draw for Whoa. this evening. Fucking Cthulhu. Whoa. This is the second photo from Big B McFly. Sheesh. Big B killing it, bro. Big yeah. B, that's really good, dude. That's Fuck. awesome. Love Fuck. Big B. Makes me want to draw Cthulhu. That's a great Cthulhu, man. That's really good. Yeah, that's wicked. Cthulhu would be really hard to draw. No. Well, he is, but he's. you can sort of just sort of... You can fuck him up with Cthulhu. As long as he's got the face and the little wings, I think you can go to town. There's all sorts of different images of Cthulhu. But that thing's fucking awesome, man. All right. And this might be our last one. I'm not too sure. But this one comes from K-Pop Junkie. Oh. Oh. It was worth the wait. It was worth the wait. It is worth the wait. That's a great face on that. Excellent drawing. Yeah, zoom into that. Yeah, that's wicked. Uh-huh. That is pretty fucking awesome. 
Yeah, that's awesome. I can't, like it. Can't Dig wait to it. see when it's coming in. It's yeah. awesome. I guess I can tell you what that is. That's the chick from the craft, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the um, uh, the one the, I, I forget her the actress's name, yeah, but she played crazy. in um, Yeah. She likes uh, she, uh, she was in love with Bobby Boucher. Yes. Yeah, she was in love Yep. Bobby Boucher. I seen her boobies and they were nice. They're not Vicky Valancourt. Vicky Valancourt. Yeah. Uh, I seen her boobies and they were nice. They're not the devil, mama. Uh, Vicky Valancourt is a devil. She's not the devil. She showed me her boobies. <laughs> I like them. I like them. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. I like the face on that though. That's dope. That's yeah. awesome, K-pop. Amazing. Appreciate you. Very, very cool. All right. Killing Let's it. See, yeah. So going oh, back through these, I like journeys. Again, I, I, like I like that quite a bit. Appreciate you all. Thank you all so much. So dope. Love the at home editions. You guys are rock stars. You guys, thank you all so so much. You guys are awesome. Appreciate you. Yeah, these are dope. That that fucking, dope. We're fucking great. <sighs> yeah, fantastic. Thank you all. Oh. Okay. That's the truth. That's the truth, bro. So so true. People all right. So are we showing bleakers off? You have all bleakers, right? Well, he sent them to me, but we're gonna do it the normal way, and he's gonna show them oh. off. Uh, you like ready, Bleak? It, but but we gotta know, like, are you? Who would you want to go first? Do you want to go first, or would you like Roscoe to go first? Oh, or do, want, or do you want TM Nerdy to go first? I want TM Nerdy to go first. Well, shit. I guess I did draw, guys. It was like I, I did draw. Uh, okay. Yeah, he did. Yeah, thanks to a, a person here on the panel. <laughs> so I was sitting here today, and I just I had a voice in my head, and the inspiration for roscoe just all of a sudden he just started speaking to me from the cosmos and i actually drew today and he, he, he it's like he guided my hand guided my fingers to, to, to where to go to next and i and it's just that closeness that me and roscoe had but i yeah i did draw today and uh it's it's crazy it is crazy but here it is ghost face right look at that Nice, buddy. TM, you're next. <laughs> <laughs> he signed it. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I was on the phone with Roscoe. I was like, I was like, look, I signed it. You're like, did you sign it beside his face? I was like, yeah. I was like, what the fuck, man? I was like, this is my first piece. So you shut your mouth. <laughs> it's like I never signed anything before. <laughs> so shut up. <laughs> you shut up, Roscoe. So hilarious. I just changed it up, and I was like, "TM, you're next." And it signed down here. <laughs> there you go. Oh my gosh! I was like, "Where'd you sign it? Next to his head?" And he's like, "What? Was I not supposed to?" <laughs> yeah. Uh, awesome, brother. But yeah, I I do like I I, I like Ghostface. I remember watching him being scared shitless of him when the first movie came out. Um, and that and everybody was just going around town with the ghost face. Uh, scary thing as a kid, watching that first movie. But I've fallen in love with this movie. I still need to watch the fifth and sixth one. I'm not watching the sixth one. They're watching the fifth one. You hear me, Roscoe? My bad. But yeah. yeah. Don't want to miss that continuity. <laughs> <laughs> so... I did draw tonight. So okay. who would you like to go next? Uh, uh, well, you know, I'll let Roscoe go last. It is, you know, it is his <laughs> his thing. So I'll go next. Now, what do you want me to do? Are you going to show off the ones I sent you or you want me to do it on here? Uh, do it on here. I will post the, the ones that you sent me um, down the line. All right. So this is what I sketched tonight. <laughs> Because I, I drew those like a crazy person all week. So that's what I sketched tonight. Oh. So that is... Uh... Oh, I didn't think he had pants on at first. 
<laughs> he just thought that black thing was his. I was like, what's going on down there? No, that, is, that is Otis from The Devil's Rejects. And That's awesome, brother. Corpses. I love it. Robbie. Yeah. Love it, dude. So That's that, wicked. So that was just like my sketch that I did tonight. And then dude, I, love that. I did this guy recently, yesterday, actually. So I did that guy. So that is. Uh, Whoa. A little Michael Myers when he's a kid. Yo. And then a little Michael Myers action behind him. That's awesome. It's fantastic. I, I love that. I like the, yeah, the him as a kid with the kiss. I like yeah. that. That is yeah. wicked. That, that is wicked, bro. I like that a lot. And then, and then I did so many. It's ridiculous. And then <laughs> I did, uh, oh. Yeah. There you go. Heck yeah. Look at that. So that's uh, pretty awesome. Heck yeah, man. That, you're definitely inspired by the um, the first It movie, right? Yes. Uh, yes, this is definitely the first It movie. Yeah. Um, My man, Timmy Curry's. And of course, we did this guy. That is... Oh, bro, I love that, dude. That is the art, the terrifier from Terrifier. Yeah, bro, bro, I love that. That is freaking awesome. You know, we did that. Dude, that's wicked. And one more, one more to show. This is probably my favorite one that I did. And, Holy uh, crap! How many did you do? I'm really happy with it. Oh, I yes. Love that. So that's yeah, probably. it's creepy. That's probably my favorite one that I did. Dude, I love what you're doing with the splatter. I love so th I love the splatter, man. I really do like the splatter. I don't know what I, it is. I like what I you're doing it. with them though. Like you did it on the last few, like or on the last one too. Yeah, yeah. You did that splatter, dude. I'm like, I'm digging that. See, you find something that you do, you know, you find a little niche thing. I'm telling you, man, you can go. Go with it, bro. I'm loving it though. Awesome, homie. So that's that's the old yeah. look, at the eyes, too. look at the eyes look at this guy so yeah man that's uh that's probably my favorite one that i did out of the bunch it's yeah, got a right? lot like yeah, a lot a of whole lineup yeah, yeah i know he brought a whole he brought a whole sketchbook of full of stuff i only have you, one you sent you, you sent me like the list of like a, just a bunch of pictures i was like nah you're gonna show these up the show well, they probably uh, <laughs> would would go better with the pictures, but we'll show them off on the show. I don't know how well they show on my computer. If the, oh, you, they're, they're, they're looking good. They're wicked, they're looking man. Good. Those are awesome. Do you have any more? Uh, I have one really bad one that I can show you. That I I, did, I was like I I drew it and then I was like, nope, that's not happening. Oh, what? Uh, see, see a bad one. Fuck. God, yeah, like, right. I know. He's taking a piss, man. Dude, that's awesome. You already have people claiming uh, some of your yeah. pictures already. Yeah, Under evil, Earth. evil comics wants your uh, terrifier. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. a good one. That's a good one. Yeah, terrifier. I love the crypt keeper. I love the terrifier. They're they're like yeah. I I sadly agree with comic journey. Like the crypt keeper is by far my favorite out of the house. Yeah, it's mine too as well. Actually, I love the crypt keeper, man. Awesome, brother. Awesome, Bleak. Is, Appreciate you, bro. Hey, thank you. Just want you to guys. say hello to Unhinged and Kevin. Mm -hmm. What is up, my friends? Hey, Kevin. Hey, Unhinged. Appreciate you guys being here. Again, we have 25 people chilling with us. Thank you all so much. Still kicking with us. almost up with three hours already. Uh, Bleaker, man. Thank you so much for showing those off. Thank you so much for doing those. And thank you so much for having an awesome time with us. Oh, man. It's my pleasure. Thanks for having me, bro. It's been, I, you know, I watched the show and it's cool to finally be on and uh, it's really cool to be doing some art. I don't know. It's uh, it's new. It's fun. I'm enjoying it. And thank you guys for providing that for the community. Heck yeah, man. Thank you. My pleasure. My pleasure. All right, Roscoe. I'm Hi. Or, or should I call you Tina? Uh, you can call me anything, just not late for dinner. <laughs> um. Anyway, right, uh, <laughs> um, so I I did this character. Um, I was saying earlier um, that uh, it's already been done before, 
but I don't care. I did it my own way. I did it my own thing. And um, so anyway, I really like the It movies, Pennywise. I hate clowns. I'm not a big clown guy, like whatever. Like they're okay. Like Brother Joe, I'm cool with. But um, geek out with Tina. <laughs> um, and uh, But what happened was, is uh, so anyway, I did a clown. I did Pennywise, but I kind of did my own spin and I did Krusty the clown. Hey, what's up? James Nug in the building. About just to see my work. Oh. I did a hot, hot cover, but I did Krusty the Clown as the new Pennywise. That's, I'm not mad sweet. at that at all, Roscoe. That's cool, bro. So that's yeah. dope, dude. Crazy eyes. Yeah. So it did. Uh, yeah. So I did Krusty the Pennywise clown. Krusty the Pennywise clown. That's fucking cool, man. Rascal, yeah, you're a great man. artist, buddy. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, so. He's okay. Yeah, I'm all right. I have fun with it. But appreciate you all. Thank you all so much. Uh, but yeah, so I just did... Uh, Thank you. Appreciate y'all. Yeah. I know it's been done before, but I, you know, I did my own, I did my own thing. I gave him like a venomized, like weird tongue. Are we bidding on it? <laughs> uh, we're going to start the bid at $25 starting now. Let's get your bids in $5 increments. That's um, the only Easy 25 bucks. Easy. Yeah, I think it would go higher. Uh, the only person that's not liking it is Comic Journey. That's all right. I'm used yeah. to it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no. I appreciate you all. Thank you all so much. And the words of Tina. Uh, uh, that's good. That was a good <laughs> Tina. That was perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. That's a that crusty is... penny. <laughs> crusty penny, yes. <laughs> yeah. And that fun. is it for this show. This between the lines is Halloween spectacular episode. Let's yes. thank Leaker again for joining us, having a great time with us, answering some awesome questions from the amazing chat that's been with us all night. And the everybody's chat's watching dope, something. Eh? That's watch. been popping off, man. They've been fucking awesome. They are. They're the best. We appreciate y'all. So, Bleaker, do you have anything coming up that you want to let the people know? Uh, I got the hunt coming up this Friday. Uh, I think I will be facing Black Crown Comics. The, you know, you know what he's like. So, you come vote for Bleaker. Yes. Fuck that guy. Um, so, it's Canadian <laughs> against Canadian. <laughs> They, they're that, they're put they're they're putting us up against each other now. Yeah, well, that's because you know they're afraid of me, but it's fine. It's fine. I just got to beat up Black Crown. I need the people to come vote for their champ. Uh, what else? I got Sundays with uh, Reverend Bleeker. Sunday at the shop. I'll be at the shop next uh, weekend. Um, you know, I pop around, bro. I'm a bit of a bit of a stream whore, so you'll see me around on CJ's channel. You'll see me where 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 I pop up. Uh, Mr. Biggie Shack's channel. I'll be on there. You know, nice. What about you, Roscoe? Uh, keep an eye out. Uh, for a video for a 500 subscriber thank you giveaway um, so just keep an eye out for that on my channel uh, tell you what to do and where you can and what you can win oh <laughs> pretty dope stuff so appreciate you just keep an eye out on my channel though right on uh, I will hopefully be sitting down with Dr. Von Hoot um, there's been some issues on my end uh, we're internet or uh, we're, we're able to connect with him. So hopefully we'll be sitting down uh, this week sometime or this weekend and uh, uh, the episode with Dr. Von Hoops should drop next Wednesday. Fingers crossed. Um, also probably just 
hit that notification bell because I'll probably be doing some lives coming up. Live unboxings. Check out what I got from New Comic Book Day from my shop. And then some other unboxings that I might get. I know I have a package coming my way soon from Sugar Skulls. So, oh, yeah. Very nice. Very cool, man. Very cool. Oh, and keep an eye out for uh, Roscoe's Late Night Addiction. Um, is going to be popping up here again. I guess it's with TM Nerdy. I'm not sure. Last time I tried, he was like, he said, we, we do got to we, we do got to keep them short though. That's not how late night addictions go. Yeah, right. Well, we only got 20 hours a month, so oh, we got too long. right, right, right. All right. Well, then we have to get off the show right now. No, I'm just kidding. We better get off the show right now. God damn it. So we'll, we'll either have to shorten up between the lines like to an hour and then go longer with Roscoe's Late Night Addiction with TM. Or Well, you can probably talk about this off stage because you're wasting all your time. Exactly. Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> well, we're good for this month. This month's almost done. <laughs> but yeah. Thank you all. Appreciate you, everyone. You're amazing. Have a good uh, trick yeah. or treat in Halloween. Oh yeah, Halloweenies tomorrow. Good jobs, everybody. You know, do what they like to do. Have fun. Be with your kids or be with your friends. Stay or just watch safe. a scary movie by yourself in the dark. Stay safe. That's all I'm gonna do. Don't eat any weird apples. Yeah, don't eat any apples. Like, who the hell is giving out apples these days? <laughs> Give them to me. I'll eat them. <laughs> yeah. That being said, everybody stay safe and remember between the lines is nominate. Go get your votes in. Go get your oh, votes in. Voting, Thank right? Thank you, everybody who watched. Go vote. Thank you. Go, Go vote. Vote. Vote, vote for Bleaker.